another night, another Pokemon card live stream. Welcome back, everyone. Tonight, I'm in the terrible temporary chair, and we have a box of Ancient Origins to open. Oh, man, this is a fresh sealed box of Ancient Origins. The Ancient Origins list is pretty far along. I'd say a little past halfway done, so it's very conceivable that, uh, that tonight we finish off the Ancient Origins reserve list and open up this box. So I hope you guys will join me for that and stick around to see what gets pulled out of there. We're still hoping to pull a full art uh, Lugia, which we have not seen in a long time. We want to see a full art Lugia come out. What's up, Astro? What's up, James O? Oh, we should get some music playing. I had some Dire Dire Docs playing. Let's see what else we have. Here we are, Anastar City. We'll just play some Anastar City. Well, you know what? I've played a lot of Anastar. Let's play something else. How about... Let me pick something else. Cave Dungeon. Super Mario Galaxy. I don't know. Gosh, there's so much music to choose from. I think I'll go ahead and play some... Well, there's like a different, uh, a million different songs to choose from. Hmm. I don't know, actually. Let's leave this playing for now. We'll leave this playing for now. I changed my mind. Play sh 50 Shades of Pokemon. What's up, Caitlin? Hey, Broad Johnson. He says, Galaxy, Mario Galaxy. I've heard too much Mario Galaxy is the problem. Oh, I can throw these away finally. Right, we got those stickers in the mail. So we had a tiny live stream yesterday night. Uh, it was surprisingly busy. We had less than 100 viewers, but that's because we started two and a half early, uh, two and a half minutes, two and a half hours. Sorry about that, late. And so uh, tonight, we're a little more on time. What time is it? Is it 12.30? It's about 12.30, so we're about a half hour late. But that's not actually that late at all. I missed the stream yesterday because I was out. Yeah, definitely. You know, a lot of people are probably out. Today's the day before 4th of July, or technically it is 4th of July, now that we've passed over the 12 a.m. threshold where I live. So happy 4th of July, everyone. Big T Exotic says happy 4th of July. What's up, man? Mr. Only says hi when it benefits him. Mr. Are you poping fireworks? We might. My car is currently at the uh, car mechanic, so we have no vehicle. Uh, but we could hire an Uber to take us to a fireworks stand. So that's what we could do. Wofsky says, Happy Independence Day. Woohoo! All right. I put Mr. on the big screen today. Pretty cool. All right. I'm on the big screen, everyone. Now he can see all the texture in this Raichu card. Wow, that's so much texture. Take a look at that. Happy 4th, Bong Ribs. We don't celebrate the 4th, says Jack. <laughs> Are you from the UK? <laughs> Man, I think that we could have lost to you guys pretty easy, too. Uh, people, are, you know, the Founding Fathers could have lost the war, but then France stepped in. Freaking France. You have to tie some bulk carts to those fireworks. Well, we might just hang out with the neighbors. The neighbors, apparently, they love fireworks. So, uh, actually, we went outside and, and stood on our dock last night, and there were fireworks going off everywhere. There were so many. It was shocking. And the neighbors were just out sitting on their dock. So, you know, they're like a foot away from us almost. And, uh, we, you know, we say hi to them and ask them what's 4th of July like out here in Lake of the Ozark because this will be our first time. And they're saying that it'll be like a war zone because of how many fireworks will go off on the actual day. And uh, so what we, what we might do tomorrow night, uh, if there's a stream, it will be a much later stream maybe. Just depends. What I might do is uh, tomorrow, my wife and I might just float around in the water and watch the fireworks go off. So that's probably what we're planning to do. Brian Johnson says, on the 3rd, I heard fireworks all day. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, apparently, we asked them if there were any rules about fireworks out here in Lake of the Ozarks. Apparently, there's no rules at all. No rules. Like, if you pollute the lake with your dirty fireworks, nobody cares. It's just, there's just no rules. So it's very interesting, and uh, I guess some people actually do fire them off of their dock, like right next to the water. Other people like to shoot them in their backyard next to the water. Uh, I've heard people will even shoot smaller fireworks off from their boat, especially if they have a large boat, apparently. And uh, yeah, you just go swimming in the water, and you watch a bunch of fireworks go off. Even when there is rules, people don't care, says Goblin. That's true. Alex is sleeping. That's right. Alex went to bed. <laughs> I don't know how busy we'll be tonight. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's a holiday in the United States, so maybe people are visiting relatives or maybe people have extra off time. I'm not sure. It's also the weekend, so you think it would be busy. Big T says, my neighborhood had hella fireworks going off tonight. Yeah, for sure. 
I think people want to go out and shoot those fireworks. It's fun. I don't think it's legal to use fireworks where I live if it isn't an organized event, but I could be wrong. Well, I was told pretty much everywhere you go where I live, any like any hotel, any condo resort, any restaurant on the water, they're all shooting fireworks. That's what I was told. So it's, it's very interesting. And it's a pity that our uh, Wave Runner needs a repair because I would love to take our Wave Runner to that little restaurant called uh, Frank and Louis and just see what they're doing over there. Cause it's probably, they have this huge RV center. It's probably spectacular out there. Wofsky says, my friend spent $10,000 on fireworks. Oh man, that's too much. <laughs> I think I would set my limit around 500. I couldn't do that much. Oh, that does sound neat, but there is always next year, of course. Troy says, I can't use fireworks in Washington or Oregon. I'm sorry. 10K on Pokemon would be better, says Gustavo. Exactly. 10K on Pokies, man. Pokies, at least you don't blow them up unless you put them in a blender. What's up, Casey? All right, guys. Well, I don't know how busy I'll be tonight. James says... James says, does anyone know if airplanes companies are still requiring passengers to wear pants? I don't think so. Wofsky says, I agree. His parents own a lot of Ford dealerships. Oh, he's rich. Never mind. 20K on Pokemons. He's Pokey Rich. I'm making fireworks in my bedroom, mister. What? Don't tell us that. We don't want to hear that. Give us all the details. <laughs> all right. So we're getting started up, huh? What's up, Jeremy? How's it going, man? Jeremy Helmstatter's here. All right. I'm refreshing PayPal's. Aaron says, hey, mister, what's in the large? What's up, Aaron Fowler? Tonight in the large. By the way, the large is quite close to finishing as well. So we have this PSA 10 Shining Lugia valued around $750 and PSA 9 Shining Lugia valued around $250, okay? So this is the large. There are 25 spots. And out of those 25 spots, there will only be two people who walk away with the hit slab. So that's the large tonight. And uh, it says here that there are 19 spots accounted for, which leaves six more spots. All right. So the first order pops in for Mr. Arturo Perez, and he wants one of these Misty's flavors. Mr. Arturo, does your mom know? <laughs> so we have some of these Misty's favors left, and, and I'm selling them off for $15 a piece. And the answer to your question is yes, I still have them. So let me go grab your bag. Where am I going to find Arturo Perez? Here you are. You got Flannery. Holy. I don't know, mister. Flannery and Misty? That's too many redheads. Simp. I know. Now we've got Justin Horta. He says, hey, mister, I'd like one Hidden Fates. Mr. Justin, holy, here we go, Hidden Fates. Holy moly. All right, let's see what you get. Oh, it's a hit. What is that going to be, Greninja maybe? <laughs> oh, it's Greninja. Oh, man, what a great start, and it looks so clean. You also pick up the birds. That's such a hot pack. All right, great start to the stream, everyone. Am I using my wife's chair? Yes, I'm, I still have my wife's terrible office chair. Yeah, I asked her how she uses it, and she's like, I don't. She, she actually just uses the couch. She doesn't even really use this chair. It's so terrible. So I'll try to stay in here as long as I can, but I don't want to hurt myself. It really doesn't support you very well. Uh, oh, Justin, you're in the overflow. I know. That's a big hit, man. What a snipe. Hot babes and hot poles, Caterpie used string shot. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so sticky now. Okay, we'll put this here. Caterpie used string shot. <laughs> so stupid, man. So mature. Kara Nichols is here. Hello, Kara. One Ancient Origin spots and two Eevee Hero packs. All right. So we're going to say Kara... Nichols. All right, you're on spot number 20. And let's go get you two EV heroes. The good ones, right? How's it going, Mr. Tremaine? Mr., how much is Suicune? That Suicune's not for sale. I'm just showing him off. That's all. So that's a, that's a rocket Suicune. And a lot of people don't even know he exists. So he's a good card to show off so people are aware of him. Cold. 
Could you move the slabs around? And Ante, I'm sorry, Kara. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm already coughing. We just started. I'm sorry. Toss that down in the junk box. I tell you what, I certainly can shuffle these around. Let's get this Mewtwo in the front. I think you were asking about the Mewtwo. And we'll get uh, this guy in the front. He needs a price tag. And here's Sudowoodo. He needs a price tag. Okay. But we need to put these back here. And Wooper needs a price tag. Look how cute this Wooper is. Whoop, whoop. All right. We got Louis Barrera. Louis, three Eevee heroes. Por favor. You got it, Louis. One, two, and three. Oh, Louis. Do you not have anything to drink during the streams anymore? Yeah, I don't really do that. Look at my skin on my finger, too. It's all peeling. It started happening to, like, all my fingers. I think it's from swimming too much. You know, you get, like, the pickled fingers from swimming. Prune fingers. Mr. Lewis. We've got Swampert. Ooh, Swampert. And a cold pack. And don't do it. Oh, Ante. Woo! Mr. Lewis. Snipe, snipe, snipe. You did it, Lewis. That can happen from being in water too long. Used to happen to my toes, says Bro Johnson. Trying to grow slabs since all my cards stuck at PSA. <laughs> Next up, we've got Dustin Carpio. TCC, hope you're feeling better for Chilling Rain. You got it. Mr. Dustin, look at this. Mr. Dustin. Eevee Heroes, best heroes? Sneep. Sneep. Pokey God says, I'm tired. That's too damn bad. Hey, mister, I, am I able to get store credit for the slab that I won? Uh, I don't remember which slab you won. You have to give me all the details. Are you ready? Here we go. Chilling Rain. We've got Castiform. Ooh, Castiform. And Score Bunny. Here's Celebi. Ooh. Boop. And finally... Whirlipede. Wow, Whirlipede. The Charizard. Uh, I, I suppose it's possible. I just, uh, I would have to go dig him up. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, I remember. I don't remember what I was offering. I think I made you an offer for it. We'll go ahead and sleeve these up. I don't know why I even bother sleeve them. So, Mr. Dustin, if you're in the D-Box, right? Don't lie to me, Dustin. I'm on to you. He doesn't say new bag. Yeah, he says he's got a bag. Okay, Dustin Carpio. Here we are. Casey says 70. Yeah, I could probably do that if you'd like that. Is that what you'd like? There we go. We're modless. Uh-uh, I'm the biggest and the best mod. So for Jeremy Helmstatter, he says three live custom boosters, three shiny fates, and one chilling rain. Let's start with those custom boosters. No mods tied for the purge. purge. Nick says, Mr. We all follow the rules, so it doesn't matter. All right, here goes. Do -do 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 -do. Victini. Do -do 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 -do. Mewtwo. Ooh. And Do -do 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 -do. what's this? <laughs> Two ancient origins. Well, Mr. Jeremy, it's kind of like you just bought two uh, spots in the Ancient Origin break. Here we are. Happy to have you there. Maybe you'll pull a full art. Who knows? Jeremy Helmstatter. You know, it could have gone much worse, Jeremy, if, if it had been one more live custom booster to pull that card. You could have just lost all that. <laughs> You'd have been subsidizing for somebody else. So three shiny fates. All right, I, I need to open up another Shiny Fates box. So, give me a minute. Oh, this chair's so bad. This chair is so freaking bad. Shining Fates. Don't you hate when a mosquito is buzzing in your ear? Bzzz. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst feeling ever. Actually, where we live, there's spiders everywhere. Casey says, I'll do it. All right, Casey, sounds good. 
Spank the bad chair. You've been very naughty, chair. Look at Donovan Peacock's message. I might have missed it. He might need to repost it. Whew. All right, give me a minute. Breaking this box apart. Throwing away this. We're taking care of Mr. Jeremy. So Jeremy says, three shiny fates, one chilling rain. Okay. Mister, how you doing? I thought a fossil pack and I got the hollow dragon eye. I finally pulled hollow zard from Evos. Sweet. Donovan Peacock, don't see my name on the ancient origin list. I bought four the other day. Were you in the previous box break, maybe? He says, I don't see my name on the list. I bought four the other day, huh? Mr. Ricardo wants to buy Whooper for 30. Uh, I will have to look him up, okay? Let's take care of Mr. Jeremy Helmstadter. It's his turn at the moment. You say you bought it on June 30th, huh? Last sold for 28. Oh, well, I don't go out. I, I don't go by the last sold price. Here's Lapras of VMAX. I go by the current buy it now price. Lapras of VMAX. We have Gasse Fleur. Wow, Lapras is a good pull, actually. Here's Thievel. And what do we have here? It's Gengar. All right, Gengar Hollow. Ah, so Donovan Peacock, you were you were probably in the previous box break. So we're opening up our second box of Ancient Origins. And what we can do is we can go check your bag and see what you pulled real fast. But first, let's get these lovely cards into Mr. Jeremy Helmstadter's box. Here you go, Mr. Jeremy. All right. So my ear's being pulled all kinds of directions. Let's try and do this one at a time. I think Donovan Peacock's thing was most important. Let's go find Donovan Peacock's bag. All right. He's not in the D box from what it looks like. Did we ship you? Dustin... Here we are, Donovan Peacock. And what I'm seeing, Mr. Donovan, is this Tyranitar right in the front with an Entei and a ball toy. So I think you might have already been pulled, Mr. Donovan, okay? And if you want, you can be in the next box break too. By the way, this Mega Tyranitar looks fantastic. So uh, congratulations on that. So that came out of the Ancient Origins. You did well. But not everyone gets an EX. All right, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, Casey wanted $70 of store credit. So give me a second, Casey. There's only one Casey, so I'm just going to call you Casey. I'm going to say you have $70. Uh, and what that means is I have to go get that Charizard and mark your name off. So give me a second. Let me just check and see if that's over here. No, it's not. So let me go find it, and I'll take my marker with me. Casey, you're going to be in the C box. Give me a minute, guys. I'm just hunting down someone's card. Oh, I found it. All right, so I marked your name out. All right, very good. And this card returns to the table to be resold. All right, and uh, I think the reason I offered you 70 was because he was actually 80. So I'll write down 80 on that. Okay, very good. Now, uh, what was it? What was the other thing? Somebody wanted Wooper, was uh, uh Oh, Marquez wanted Wooper. Let's just take a quick look at the Wooper real fast. All right, give me a minute. So the Whooper is, there is a Whooper for sale for forty-four, forty-five, And what I will do is I will set mine to 39, okay? So that's 
a bit cheaper than the one listed. All right, and, and the reason we don't go off of last sold prices is because that's no longer available. So that's that's just kind of how I do things, okay? I suppose if there was a... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's an interesting thought. But you know, uh, the cost of grading this is already so high. If you were to send off a whooper to go grade at like, let's say PSA, we don't even know. By the way, we don't know what PSA's bulk cost is going to be. That's their tier one cost. We don't know what it's going to be. Uh, it's probably going to be higher. So for all you know, this is basically the cost of grading at this point. Uh, and I don't think that's a terrible price, but, you know, there's also a lot of PSA 9 whoopers out there. So that's why it's so cheap. Uh, but if you enjoy it, then yeah, uh, go for it. All right. So let's see. Next up, we got to refresh. Woo! And uh, Casey, the way this works, you just let me know what you would like to order with the $70, Mr. Casey. And then we put you in a little line. Uh, alternatively, um, Casey, what you can do is if you're if you're wanting to buy live custom boosters, you can get in line by sending me one penny on PayPal, okay? So if you sent me one penny on PayPal, this puts you in line with everyone else, and you can leave me a little message detailing exactly what you want. Okay. So where were we? Mr. Andrew Edward, he says one live custom booster. Andrew Edward, Doo -doo 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 -doo. you got Scraggy. I'm sorry, Andrew. Mr. Andrew, let me know if you want your Scraggy. Uh, I'm gonna place them as a donation over here because I don't want to hunt your hunt your bag down. I got an Ultra Instinct Goku card. I need a signed shuckle for my collection. So Doji must sign, sign, sign. Devin Kawamura returns. He says two live custom boosters and two XY evolutions. What's up, Lube? Okay, you ready? So, Devin Kawamura. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Devin! PSA 10, number 71. And doo -doo 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 -doo. Professor's Research. Very good. Let's see what this is. If I can, oh, I see. Oh, okay, so this is why it came out so so quickly. It's a PSA 10 Rebel Clash Toxtricity. Ooh. What is that professor researching? Good question. Mr. Devin. There you go, Devin. Greetings from the Netherlands. Greetings, mister. Ooh. Now, he also wanted two XY evolutions. Let's see what we got. XY evos. We just can't get enough of these. Sneep. She's she's researching how Pokemon's VMAX in the wild. They do this. They go, oh! <laughs> is a VMAX Celebi good? Yeah, I suppose it is. People really like Celebi, so I would say it is. Ponita, how can I get into Pokemon cards? You just buy some Pokemon cards. That's about it. That's the whole secret to it, mister. You figured it out. <laughs> Sandshrew. All right, Sandshrew. Well, you know, if you want a more detailed answer, I would ask what your goals are. Is your goal to spend $10,000 on vintage? Do you just want to open a few modern? Uh, are you looking to complete a particular set? Do you have a favorite Pokemon? So those are all good questions to ask yourself uh, if you're just getting into Pokemons. So, Mr. Devin, did we put your bag somewhere, Devin? Did we put your bag in an overflow? I feel like your bag definitely should be in an overflow by now. It's not just over here, is it? Damn, it's definitely up top, right? New bag. Oh, we get a new bag from Mr. Devin Kawamura? No problem. All right. So you're going to have these two lovely reverse hollows and Professor. Another good question is, would you roast and eat Pikachu with barbecue sauce? In a heartbeat? Let's see, Devin. Just like in Monster Hunter. Your last name's too long. I have to break it in half. There it is. Devin Kawabunga. Lewis Barrera. What's up, Lewis? He says, last Eevee Heroes pack. Oh, man, Lewis, you're really trying, man. <laughs> this is it. 
This is it. You just have to have pokey faith. All right, you ready? Boop, 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 boop. And it's a cold one. I'm sorry, Lewis. Mike Hoover. Mike is back, and he's got a pretty large order. Yeah, that's a large order. He says, one Shining Fate to ETB. Five Japanese lost thunder. Holy. And he says, keep the hollows. Oh, I certainly will. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five. And an ETV. Ugh. Here we are. Fernando says, damn, literally so many. Well, if you think about it, Mr. Fernando, it's, it's one secret rare per 30 packs. So if you haven't opened up 30 packs, uh, then you haven't really even pulled the average, you know? So that would be the average is one per 30. So if you've opened like, let's say one, let's say you've opened like 17 of them even. Well, then you haven't even opened the average. But, you know, the way everyone sees Pokemon cards, everyone hopes to snipe. Everyone's looking for the snipe. But that can't work out, can it? Statistically, somebody has to not snipe in order for somebody else to be able to snipe. So if you were to get the hit, somebody else would do the sweeping. All right, you got a whole box of shiny fates. I do like to open whole boxes of shiny fates. There's the Eevee. Mike Hoover says Lost Thunder. You're right, mister. Oh, my gosh. Must have been reading it wrong. I was all excited to open up team up for you. That's the one with the cherries, Ard. Oh, well. Let's see. Lost Thunder. Where's my Lost Thunder? Here it is. I have to dig it out a little bit. That's okay. You're going to pull the Lugies. Two, three, four, five. Yep, Lugie is in this set. He's right there in the pack. You ready, Mr. Mike? We'll start with, uh, let's start with the Lugies. Hey, mister, how are you doing this fine evening? What's up, Zachary? I'm doing all right. Sleep, 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 sleep. All right. Throw that away. We've got a cool pack. Pack number two. Here's very good. Right off the bat, Suicune GX. Yeah, the Japanese Lost Thunder hands out Suicune and Lugia. Pretty often, guys. So that's another really good set to consider. Here's Heat Factory, I think it's called. And Blissey. Oh, what bliss. Oh, right. You said you didn't want your hollows. Well, you want the Japanese hollows. They're so cool. All right. So you're taking the Blissey home, mister. How about these, though? So Suicune over here. Now it's time to pull Charizard in here. Actually, you could pull Suicune twice if you pull the Suicune Shiny. You know how rare it is to pull that Suicune Shiny? I've been opening up Shining Fates for a long time now. We do not pull that Suicune Shiny very often at all. Super rare, actually. Very, very rare to pull the, the uh, Suicune. Corviknight's pretty rare. Uh, I would say Incineroar is a little bit rare. Incineroar? No, Cinderace. Cinderace. Got the names mixed up there. I don't even think Incineroar is a pull. Here goes. You ready? Only hot ones. We got Spinarak. And Boss's Orders Frostmoth. Here's Snom. Oh, man. So far, cold. Oh, a cold box so far. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, this is like a cold ETB. Here we go. Galarian Surfetched. You got one pull so far out of this ETB box. We've seen this happen before. Hopefully some hot ones in here. No, that's cold. You got three packs left. They could still give you a Charizard, so let's keep looking. Okay, Squovit Cinderace. It's a little bit hotter. Yeah, that was a bad start for sure. So you've got Galarian Surfetched. Here's Squovit. Come on, don't do this. Okay, you got your three shinies. Here's Toxel. That's already a hit rate of four cards out of ten packs, but... Oh, good, 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 good. You've also got Toxtricity. Woo, I was getting nervous for you, man. I thought it was going to be a purely cold box. But all the hits were on one end of the box. That's what was going on. All right. Mr. Mike Hoover, no Charizard in there. It was an okay box, though. Even though it looked like it was going to be cold. I mean, look. So you got your full art and you got your, your three shinies. 
He's not in doo doo, so that's kind of nice. You got Toxel Toxtricity. That's kind of neat. Why so fast? Why scissors? Says Saitama. Uh, that's just the way we do it. We do it that way so that people don't wait like a full hour to get their cards open. And sometimes people, even with the scissors going this fast, sometimes people do wait a full hour because so many cards get ordered live. Uh, but, you know, I guess on a slow day we could go slower. But we see a lot of cards, man. I don't know if we need to go slow. Everyone knows what's in a booster pack of shiny fates. It's the card at the end that matters if you think about it. Here we are, Mr. Mike Hoover. Mike, you got a fat bag. Let's see what's in Mike Hoover's bag. I want to see, you guys. You want to see? So, Mr. Mike, rookity. Well, it's obvious to me that Mike's been opening a lot of shiny fates. He's chasing that Charizard for sure. Flapple, Lapras, Dragapult, Piers. Whoa. Look at that. You got the Lost Thunder Shuckle. Holy. Oh, mister. I don't know about that. He got Sabrina from Team Up. Yeah, that's right. She's in Team Up Japanese. This Sabrina, if you didn't know that. Reverse Hollow Charizard, Hollow Mew. Oh, man, this, this is a... You're scaring me, man. This is an expensive bag. You got to get this shipped at some point. All right. If my house catches on fire, I'll try to save your bag first, Mike. <laughs> He's got everything in here. If somebody's trying to steal Alex's bag, I'll say, you can have it. But if they try to steal Mike Hoover's bag, I'll say... Not all my life, mister. <laughs> all right, those are in. What? No, save my Caterpies. <laughs> my Coover. Whew. Very full bag. Okay, the music stopped. Let's go pick a new song. Could just do Minecraft. Aquatic Ambience. Let's do Aquatic Ambience for a little while. Alex has some good pulls. I was just teasing. You guys recognize this one? If I do live shipping, will you split my bag and keep cards worth grading? Yeah, I could do that for you, Mike. I do that all the time. Do it all the time. So now we got Peter Waddington. He returns and says two XY Evos. You got it, Mr. Peter Waddington. What grade is the Charizard? This is PSA 8. And he is for $80. He's a mega Charizard. Rawr. This means Mr. is given a green pass for stealing Alex's bag. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Alex, what's your Sabrina card? Oh, Alex, that was your Sabrina's card. What? Hi, Card Economist. I finally made it to the stream. What's up, Sasuke? Sasuke! What do we got? My wife's making me watch uh, Naruto, so I'm finally understanding it all. All the references. All right. Hitmonchan Hollow and Energy Retrieval. Pack number two. Far fetched. That's so fetched very far. Oh no, Naruto is too long. <laughs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> Let's see. Here's a Charmander. And another Charmander. All right, Mr. Peter. Mr. Which Japanese box would you recommend? Says Casey. Uh, well, um, it just depends on what you're after. Uh, you can't go wrong with Matchless Fighters if you're looking for the cheapest box on this channel. It's similar priced as to Silver Lance and Jet Black Spirit, but it has that golden Snorlax and it has the alternative art uh, Moltres. But then if you're looking for the more expensive Japanese box, I would go for, uh, well, Shiny Star gives you a chance for the two Charizards, and then you've got Team Up gives you a chance for a hollow Charizard. Okay, so those are some things to think about. All right, Ricardo Marquez says, whooper, you got it, Mr. Ricardo. Thank you so much, Mr. Whoop, whoop. Come on now. I appreciate it, Mr. Ricardo. There we go. Probably should get more of these priced, huh? Also, the Zard. Oh, really? Very cool. You missed my hot pulls yesterday, says Russ. Russ! What's up, Russ? How you, how's it going, Russ? What are you doing for 4th of July? Your name's 4th of July, Russ, now, right? 
I just arrived, sir. How's it going? It's going pretty well. True Mozzie says hi. What's up, True Mozzie? What's the difference between a true Mozzie and a fake Mozzie? So after Marquez orders, oh, yep, I see it right here. So the Zard as well. Okay, it's a lovely Zard. We're gonna write our Marquez on the back. Russ only acknowledges Christmas. That's true. Is Santa Russ? Mr. Shane Childers arrives. He says, I'd like a spot in the Ancient Origins break. And a live custom booster. All right. This will be Shane Childers. How's it going, Shane? So we're getting pretty close to the end of this list. That's for the, the box break of Ancient Origins. Am I in that one? I'm in that one, right? Yeah, I've got two spots in that one myself. So, uh, oh, a live custom booster as well. You got it. Carvana. That's like Nirvana, but with a fish. Mr. Shane, I think your bag's up here. Hanging out with my girl and my roommate leaves Wednesday, so I have the place all to myself. Wink, wink. Oh, -ho -ho. be sure to use his bed. You wouldn't have to dirty your own sheets. Then you'd have to wash them. Here we are. My roommate leaves. See you later, alligator. Sven Krill says, two hoops, 2021. All right, we'll start there. Let's go grab two hoops. Hoops. I thought he was going to fall over. Then he says, a 2015 Dragon Ball Z evolution. Oh, I forgot. I ran out of the... Uh, I got to get some more of those Dragon Ball supers. That's perfection. You know what, Sven? You get the perfection for free. I don't know what it's doing in here. Here it is, evolution. That's what you wanted. And uh, he says he needs a new bag. Oh, you also ordered an actual battle super. Here we are. So that's all of them, right? We're good to go. Hoops! Let's start with the new one, the super evolution. I want to cut Zion. You pulled DPR. What does that stand for? Let's go ahead and sleeve it up. Is that a good one? <laughs> Bardock, father and son, DPR. And then this is actually a non-hollow. I don't know why I include that. I'm going to toss that in the junk pile. I get a new phone, and I could watch porn on an even larger screen. Oh, mister, that's what life's all about. Wow. Dots per inch. That's what I was thinking. So you got Bardock. Don't pay for the Zard, guys. It's already mine. That's right. So Evolution. Now, this could be a cold pack. You're hoping for a hollow to pop out. These are like the My Little Pony cards. Not every pack has a hollow. Ah, bummer. And yours does not. So we're going to look for the best. We're going to look for a rare one. Here's a rare. Common, 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 common. Common, common. Okay. So... Tough luck on the Dragon Ball Z Evolution. We're going to do Dragon Ball Z Perfection as well. This is a free pack for me to you. I don't know how I even obtained these. I think somebody gift, gifted them to me. And unfortunately, these do not have a hollow either. So let's look for another rare. There we go. That's a rare. All right. So you have a rare non-hollow called Cell's Draining Attack. Sorry, mister. <laughs> You guys can see why the uh, old Dragon Ball cards and the new ones are uh, distinctly uh, more and less popular than each other. There's a bit of a contrast to them, if you didn't notice. But, you know, I do like it when the hollows come out of those Dragon Ball Z evolutions. Makes me go, ooh, that was actually hard to pull. You know what I mean? Whereas with Dragon Ball Super, you get like a hollow every pack. Here goes! Mr. Sven, you've got Hassan, Jonas, Dwayne, Romeo, Kahi, Stephen Curry. He's the best card. Cut some sport cards. Would you guys like it if I got a blender? Here's Tyrese Halliburton. What if you could blend the cards? Would you guys be down for that? And Xavier Tillman. I guess if we got a blender that could blend the cards, you could put a whole booster pack in the blender. New chair yet? Not yet, but it's on the way. Here's DeJounte, Kevin, 
and Fernie Jackson. Gordon? Here's Luka Donkick. You got Luka, Trey Jones, and Emmanuel Quickie. Quickly. Were you serious about using his bed, my roommate's lol? <laughs> I don't know. It depends. <laughs> do you like your roommate? <laughs> if you do, then absolutely. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't like him, you definitely use his bed. And you don't tell him either. So, Mr. Sven, to go to sleep, what did you guys think? To go to sleep, obviously. New bag for Mr. Sven. Is pronounced Donchik. Is it Donchik? I knew that. Duh. Who doesn't know how to say Donchik? Some, probably some beta loser. Beta. Sven Krill. Mr. Reed Ricardo's message. I might have missed it. So I apologize if I missed someone's message. Uh, he said, are you able to smash a slab on stream tonight? Uh, ooh, good question. I mean, I could, but it would take a lot of time to do that, and I would need a place where I can clean it up and all that. So it's probably not a good idea. Also, it's dark outside, so I couldn't really do it outside. My roommates, we've been friends since high school. Oh, mister. Well, be careful. He's going to steal your girl. Arturo says one EV Heroes. You got it, Mr. Arturo Perez. Mr. Arturo. Snip. Don Chick. More like Don Sick. Oh, those are cold. Next up, we got James O'Brien. So James would like one pokey platter. He's saying he wants a team up. All right, team up. One evolutions. All right, evolutions. One maximum gold. That's a Yugi. That ain't no Pokemon. All right, one maximum gold. One NBA Hoops 2021. Okay, we got NBA Hoops. One NBA Hoops 1920. All right. Here we are. One Ancient origin spot. You got it, Mr. James. James O'Brien. Sweet. All right, after... Oh, man, my back's starting to hurt already. How long have we been going? 42 minutes? All right, one McDonald's. McDee's. Hold on, I can't reach the McDonald's. I used to be able to reach from the other chair. It used to be very easy. Maybe that's why it broke. Okay, here's your McDonald's. One shiny star. Okay, shiny star. One ghost of the past. All right. Trying to reach this ghost of the past. Here we are. One live custom booster. Okay, live custom booster. One shining fates. One champion's trash. One hidden fates. Oh dear. There we are, hidden fates. And one darkness. Imagine if these were pre-made and you could just order them. All right, are you ready? Are you scared? Hey, back. Sorry, my Wi-Fi's out. Your phone's on 1%? People need to stop doing this to themselves. Sneep. <laughs> well, we'll see if you pull something cool. Let's see what happens. Oh, man, I don't know, guys. I'm already having back pain. Oh, that one's already sneeped. I'm already having back pain. It's this terrible chair, I promise you. It's like sitting on a... It's like an sitting on an old church bench. You know what I'm talking about? Except I got to lean completely forward. I'm not resting my back at all. Need to be resting my back. Maybe if I scoot to the chair forward a little bit. It really doesn't help. Oh, man. You're not high enough. All right. I'm going to go smoke some Pokey Pot. You ready? Here goes. I'm smoking pot. We've got a cold one. Oops. Get back up there, Maximum Gold. 
Evolutions, he pulls, could be Charizard. Ponita, come on, Ponita, get out of here. With all that, <laughs> with all that worrying. Line long, uh, I don't think so. Go for it, mister. So there's Pikachu and Charmander. All right, here's the maximum gold. You pulled Herald of the Arc Light and Stardust Charge Warrior. Wow. All right. Here's the NBA hoops. Miles, Danilo, Paul, Giannis. You've got this cool looking card. What is this? Onyeka Okungwu. He sounds like he's Japanese or something. Hmm. You also pull Sadiq and Anthony Edward. Eric says, I watch this every night. Well, I'm glad you do, Eric. Thanks for being here, man. There we are. Here's our 1920 basketballs. So we've got Paul Millsap and Eric Bledsoe. Man, that sucks. That's kind of a cold pack because this isn't even a rookie. So your special card is just this Eric Bledsoe. That's pokey rough. Oops. You know, I always forget. We tear the McDonald's pack so you can grip it easily. You got a turtwig with some very, very strong hollow bleed. You see that? Wow. Looks cool. Turtwig. Here's Ghost of the Past. Oh my gosh, it's a ghost rare. Nah, not this one. <laughs> Very cool. How about Shiny Star? There we go. Sometimes it's a little sticky. Articuno. And I'm afraid that's a cold one too. Wow. How about the... How about... This would be the live custom booster right here. Arcanine. Woo! All right, how about the champion's trash? He pulls Machamp Altaria. Shiny Fates. Q Font. Brr. You watch the show every night. Thanks, man. Here's Darkness Ablaze. Oh, you got a hit from Darkness, actually. That's Salamance Full Art. Very nice. It's a good pull, actually. And finally, Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates. Woo! All right, I don't know, Mr. James O'Brien. That was a rough, pokey round. That is a rough round, I'd say. Uh, let's go over the hits. So Salamance is good. Ditto's a cold one. Q Font's okay. Arcanine. Uh, I guess that's kind of like your hit. I don't know. Those are. I don't think those are super valuable. But Yu-Gi-Oh's are always tough sometimes. You got your Turtwig. Your Eric Bledsoe and your Ponita. And then you also got these two rookies, but I don't really know what those are valued at. So those will be your hits there, mister. Hmm. That's not Charizard. Let's go find your bag, Mr. James. I appreciate how deep you go. That's crazy, guys. Do you see how many packs he opened? He opened like a bazillion of them. Wait, was that your bag right there? No, that's heavier. Mr. James. Whoa, look at that. He's got a fat bag, too. We saved 16 on our July. Wait, what? All right. Whew, that was a really big order, man. Now we have Mr. Raphael. Mr., how are you? I'm down, but I, Weedle Gang, not sure if it's two or still $6 for shipping for my bag, but it's fine. Put the $4 toward the chair fund. I ask that you hold my hot, hot cards to get graded with you and ship the rest, please and thank you. You've got four slaps. All right. Gold Frost Moth, Tyranitar, Gold Rill, and Gold Quick Ball. All right, and then he wants five uh, Fates Collide and three Sun and Moon Base. All right, there we go. <laughs> Trying to figure out the order out there. <laughs> Man, we're almost out of basketball cards. So I'm opening up some Sun and Moon Base. What's the best card from the McDonald's packs? Pikachu. And uh, it is Pikachu. All right, and five of the Fates Collide. Fates Collide. Colliding Fates. Kaleidoscope. 
Woo. PayPal finally went through, mister, says Alex. Woohoo! Alex Morellas. Well, we're ready to take care of your order then. I just placed a big order. I forgot to put in my order that I need a new bag. Sounds good, Casey. What's the pe best pack from the beginning? What? All right, here you go. You ready? Mr. Raphael. So he wants these packs open, and then he wants live shipping, and he's got four slaps. How long is the wait? There's a little bit of a wait time. Sneep. I don't know how bad it is, but <laughs> James O'Brien's order was so large. No way to get through that fast, huh? Sleep. All right, Mr. Raphael. Hey, you got a big, thick bag too, man. What do we got? Here's Doug Trio. He's got some wavy hair. Mask or rain. And potion. Nothing nothing fun coming out of the Sun and Moon base. Maybe that's because you just pulled that golden ultra ball. I don't know. How about the face collide though? Ooh, face collide. We've got Wiggly Tough and a non-hollow Snorlax. Okay. On pack number two, we got Whimsicott. Uh-oh. Pack number three. Here's Bronzong and a very nice looking hollow Tyranitar. Ooh. All right, I think we got a EX here. Here's Chinchino and EX Zygarde. He looks like he's going to blow you up with some kind of photon torpedo. Last but not least, you also pull Mega Catcher. So five packs, one hit. The hit is the Zygarde. Oops. Mr. Raphael, I'm going to ship your uh, hollows out this time because... Honestly, I don't care too much about hollows if they're not going to sit on the table. So we're going to get those shipped out to you. Here's Christopher, Cody. I got to remember Cody Rogers is there. Cody, where did we put Raphael? Bradley, Raphael, here he is. Did he say last but definitely least one? <laughs> All right. I appreciate all the support, Mr. Raphael, and I think you're gonna like it when these arrive. Now, let me go ahead and get his label. What's today, is it a Sunday? Ah, uh, there's no mailman on Sundays, that sucks. We're gonna increase the weight of this because it's gonna be a nice big heavy bag. A different song now. This is too much of this. Cooper Rogue, Skyrim. Let's try Skyrim Ambience. All right, there we are. Sweet. Oh man, my back. Oh, this chair's just so bad, guys. I don't know what to say. Also, when you do my order too, can I get the revised hit? The revised hit? I'll get you all the revised hits you want, mister. Okay, so actually Raphael's order, as you can see here, was the last order before I need to refresh because there's nothing above him. So that would mean we take care of Alexander Morales' uh, card next because that's how I treat cards like this. So when I do a refresh, it's then their turn. So, Mr. Alexander, he's been waiting since yesterday. Let me just go look up on that order. Actually, I might need to uh, log back in, probably. Yep. <laughs> so, we're logging back in. Did you buy a new chair? I did. The funny thing is, I bought a new chair while the other one was, like, breaking really bad. And then it broke right after I ordered. He wants hold. What? I'm invisible this stream. What's up, Raphael? So, Mr. Raphael, I got to warn you and everyone else, this new chair has me at a different position than the other chair, and it's actually harder for me to see the screen. I have to, like, tilt my head down real hard to see the screen, so I'm, like, sitting taller or something. I don't know. So, I apologize if I miss your comments, okay, everyone, but it's because this chair is really bad. Okay, now I got to look at Mr. Morales. Give me a sec. 
Now, it's pretty normal for me to miss some uh, messages anyways, just because that's the nature of things. He wanted the hot poles held. Oh! Uh, what's that, uh... Raphael who's saying that? Is that what it is? Or is it Mr. Marquez? So, hold on. You're right, Mr. Alexander Morales. Your order is good. All right. Will you let, tell me how many spots I have in the large custom booster break, please? Uh, it's okay, mister. Just wanted you to hold my pulls for grading, says Raphael. Got it. So, give me a minute. Before we open for Alexander, we'll take care of that. Let's get your hot pulls together. I'd say Ultra Ball's definitely a hot pull. Glaceon Error, yes. So Galio's a full art. Espeon's an Espeon. Hollow Snorlax, he's great. These are the cards I'd be considering first. Whimsicott Flareon, definitely the Flareon. What? <laughs> Two generations, it says. Slowpoke Psyduck. Lugia Break. Snorlax Reverse Hollow. Yeah, I'd think about him and the Mew. Oh, and Shining Volcanion. So all those would be considered for sure. For sure. <laughs> so we can have a bit off center, huh? Then on the top. Then on the bottom. Got your two Espeons back here. Uh, they're a bit thin on the left. All right. Oh, I like this, this Snorlax. But what's there? Yeah, he's got scratches. All right. So those would honestly be the cards that I would be considering... Let me go ahead and pop this back into your bag. All right. And let me put let me put these in a new bag. And the funny thing is, I'm going to put your new bag right back into the overflow. Because that's where I know your bag sits. I have your bag location memorized. Here we are. All right. Very nice. Now, with that having been done, uh, let's take a look at Mr. Alexander Morales. He wants five EV heroes. You got it, Alexander. One, two, three, four, five. He then asks for two CR, Chilling Rain. And he says he's got a, a card in a bag from Christopher Martinez. Did they already ship out? Let's see if we can find that real fast. Here we are, Christopher Martinez. Did I write on the card? I imagine I wrote on the card, right? I know they got a lot of cards. Did I already ship it? Or did he have two bags? Maybe he had two bags. Well, they got a lot of pulls last time. All right. It was the goat. Oh, yes, a double. I remember. All right, so I don't see a goat in here. I'm going to guess they have two bags. That's my guess. Dude, my back's killing me. Mister, show your chair. Well, and uh, I want to make sure that we're not making too long of a wait time. All right, so they don't have a bag in there. Big T, Cody, Christian, Bryce, Carl... Bradley, Bailey, Christopher, Michael. Okay, so they're not in there either. Are they on the side? Sam Boston is. Bradley Pollen, Raphael. Just trying to locate this card you want. Okay, here we are. And it's this one right in the front, isn't it? <laughs> we got it. Woo! Okay, and we had to create a second bag for Christopher because they had so many cards. That's what was going on. All right, very good. Now we can open up Mr. Alexander Morales' cards. Are you ready, Alexander? Mr. Alexander, thanks for your patience. I thought I was the only one. Sleep. Sleep. 
Oh, guys, I'm having, like, bad back pain so fast in this chair. It, like, leans you forward. What the? I, like, want to bend it or something with my body, but I can't. Why does it not lean back at all? It, like, pushes your whole body forward. It's terrible. What a shitty chair. So here's Jolteon. This was just some chair we got at, like, Goodwill. So no wonder. I'm trying to imagine, like, an office worker sitting in this chair all day. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> here's... Ah, oh, Leafeon. Sweet. Your internet crashed. Oh, no. Now everyone's... Now everyone's leaving your live stream. They're like... I'm not going to sit around and wait for this guy's live stream to come back up. Calyrex. That's for Mr. Alex. And Mareep. Woo! All right, Mr. That was for Mr. Alexander Morales. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Alexander. And now you get your own bag. Thank you so much, mister. No problem. See, I told you it'd clear in the morning. It's just that your bank's got to open up. I watched your video from yesterday. You continued my baggies, I think. I continued your baggies? Yes, I did continue them into season five. All right, you're going all the way up top, Mr. Alexander, because I've got no more room in the other A boxes. That's pretty bad. I'm not gonna do. I combed them. I combed eyed them. What? Don't be silly, Russ. Coming up with made up words. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at. So, James, we've got an order from Mr. Nick Weig. He said five Japanese team ups. And one live custom. Ooh. Anything for you. Oh, Nick. PSA 9, number 49. PSA 9, number 49. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's actually kind of a nice one. All right. Sometimes you don't want a 9, but this is an okay 9. Stream lagging. Better not. So we have PSA 9 Abra here. From Rocket Return, and uh, from Team Rocket 2000, first edition. He also wanted the five Japanese team ups. All right, let's go get those. One, two, three, four, five. It's lagging. No! Anything but lag. Oh, bad quality. Okay, you guys keep staring. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> God, man. Tell me when it's tell me when the quality is good again. And then we'll keep going. Super lag. Nah. -uh. Better not. Quick, show pee pee. Getting better. Dave says trash. Lago. Wolfski says it's better. It's good now. We got 144 pp. Alright, here we are. So this is for Nick Wieg. You ready, Nick? Everyone's going to be like, it's bad again. <laughs> Sneep. Here goes. Tell Quip to get off the hub. Quip. <laughs> Pack number one. Pack number two. We've got Electrode. Pack number three. Cold. Pack number four. Oh, picking up the Gengar. Gengar Mimikyu. What a nice card. And... A cold one. So, out of your five packs, you pick up the Gengar, and you got a hollow electrode. Very nice. And you pick up the Abra as well. So, this is for Nick Wieg. Now, Nick, I'm just going to try and remember where your bag is. Is it not over here? I think it's over here. Quip uploading new feet pigs. Yeah, we're going to make feet pigs for every episode these days. Can you tell me how many large custom booster spots I have, says Dave. Uh, yeah, I could probably do that real fast. Trying to decide how many you want. Sven and Andre, 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 one. Oops. You've got one, two, three. You got three, Mr. Woohoo! All right. 
Got to do that real fast, though. And uh, Nick's name's already on the back of that. Very good. Now we have an order from Mike Hoover. Live shipping. Slim the bag down. Keep cards worth grading. All right. Sounds good. Oh, not this one. You are in uh, this one. So you want me to hold on to cards that you sh that you should consider grading. We can do that. So pretty much any one of these shiny hollows, if they're a 10, they could be graded. Corviknight especially. He is very nice. Reshiram, Dracovish, Flapple. All those could be considered. Oh, 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 nope, 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 nope. It's because this is actually such a large pile. I can't hold it all. We got Santa Scorch is way off center. Dragapult. Well, I shouldn't grade all these. I don't have time to grade the whole thing. Let's just keep it moving. I don't think this Santa Scorch is very good. Kakuna, we'll place these over here. Oh, definitely the Shuckle, Tyranitar, Careless, Lapras. These are all good. Here you have Bolton. You've got a Veltal. Sabrina, definitely. These guys. You could consider the Mew. It might be like a nine. And if a nine's like a hundred dollars, it's still worth it at that point, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Charmander Reverse Hollow, Misty. Reverse Hollow, Double Full Art, Eldegoss. Okay, set these over here. We got Gengar. Charge the problem is you got a lot of cards worth grading. So Oh, that one especially. These Mewtwo's definitely. Three Mewtwo's. Oh, my God, dude. Poltegeist. Sunny Scorch. Sizzlepeed. Grimmel Snark. Coughing. Glaring Meowth. Sure, why not? Toxtricity. Toxel. Squovit. Surfetched. And, of course, the Suicune. So, this is this pile right here is definitely just junk. This pile right here. And over here... You've got a, quite a few gradable cards. So the question is, can we bring this pile down a little more? Yeah, I'll, I'll start bringing the pile down from cards that I think won't be worth over $100. So anything not worth over $100, I'm going to start putting to this side. Santa Scorch probably doesn't make that cut. Uh, the Mewtwo's need to grade 10 to be worth 100 Mega Blastoise could. Double, well, probably not. Probably not. I question the careless. She's not a sexy waifu, so people like waifus, but in particular, sexy waifus. Maybe on the piers. It's a pretty good artwork, I'd say. The Corviknight might have a shot. All right, so, Vancouver, I'm leaving you with this pile of cards that I think could be valued at $100 if they grade 10. 100 or more. And the rest of the cards are being shipped back, okay? Was that the Charizard from Evolutions? Yes, it was the Reverse Hollow Charizard from XY Evo. Now, Mr. Mike, let's read the rest of your message. He said... Okay, you've got your address out. Luthersburg. What? Let's see if we've shipped to you before, Mr. Mike. We've never shipped to you before. Man, you got all these cards over here. That's pretty wild, man. All right. Usually people who are new, they like to ship out pretty early. It's not until after they've received a package from me that they uh, feel comfortable or maybe they understand that the trick is to keep all the cards on the table and not ship very often. Okay, we're increasing the weight of the bag because it's quite a heavy one. And print. We got your label. I got your bag. Place you over here now. And uh, let's go ahead and create a new bag just for your hits. But look, it's still like a fat bag. <laughs> your bag's still giant. Holy. Mike, you have so many. This guy was going deep for sure. There you go, Mike. Place you behind Raphael there. 
Oops, I know you guys are in the same box now. And uh, let's see who's next. Ah, man, this chair is so uncomfortable. Liam Burrows, he says, one live custom, I have a bag. You got it, Mr. Liam, Liam Burrows. A rongaroo, oh, mister. You got the monkey. I'm sorry, Liam, that's not a hot one. Mr. Liam. So we are moving again. Woo. Next up, we've got Devin Kawamura. He says two ancient origin and five EV heroes. Ooh. All right, Mr. Devin Kawamura. You said five, right? No, two, 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 two. Okay. So Devin Kawamura. There we go. On 25 and 26. Oops. And then five EV heroes. Let's get them. Is my order coming up? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's kind of like asking, are we there yet, Dad? <laughs> Got. Sneep. Casey, you've been here a bunch of times. You know how it works. Sometimes there's an hour long wait, sometimes not. Just depends on. How long the line is at the moment. All right, Devin Kawamura, let's pull you some hot ones. We've got Glaceon. Ooh, Glaceon. And we also have Leafeon. Leafeon. Pack number three. That's cold. Pack number four. Cold. And pack number five, Eldegoss. Holy moly. Wow. This is going to be one of those boxes where the hit's the very last card in the box. Sorry about that, Devin. Devin, I thought you were going to pull uh, the, the full art for sure. I thought you were going to be the one. All right. Toss that in there. It's a little bit of bad luck. And uh, we move on now to Mr. Sergio. He says five matchless fighters. Five jet black spirit. You got it. All right. So the jet black spirit. Let's start there. One, two, three, four, five. Now the matchless fighters, huh? We got two of them. Throw this away real fast. What is the silver lance? I'm gonna throw the silver lance away. Clearing up the floor a little bit here. So I need a moment because I need to go get more of the uh, silver. Oh, I'm sorry, the matchless. Oh, <laughs> oh man, so uncomfortable. That chair's so bad. I didn't know how good I had it. <laughs> you don't appreciate what you have till it's gone. Right, Russ? Russ knows. Russ has been there. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying stuff. Okay. One, two, and three. Are you ready? You were falling asleep. Good luck to Sergio. Mr. Sergio. Sneep. And. Sneep. Hey, mister, did you get my order for two ancient or origin spots? Order them about three o'clock on the third. What? Order them at about three o'clock on the third. So you're saying you ordered you ordered some new packs on the third, huh? Uh, I tell you what, we'll go ahead and look that up real fast right now, okay? So that's for Donovan Peacock. Be sure to warn me. Uh, well, you maybe you tried to on Discord. Give me a second. Okay. Here it is. 12.15 p.m. it says. To Ancient Origin. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Yeah, if you do a pre-order that early in the day, it's very possible for me to miss it. And uh, there we go. You're number 27 and 28. Now, I can also see at 11.15 p.m. Now, we got that. We would have...
done that, wouldn't we have? Do we? That looks like we didn't, actually. So, Mr. Donovan, it says at 11.15 p.m. you ordered two live customs. We got that already, right? Let me know if we got that. All right, we're jumping back to Mr. Sergio. I'm here as a fan, not a client. What's up, Ethan? A client? These are my pokey clients. So let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, takes forever for it to refresh. Oh, I see, I see the two live custom order now. Oh, you're coming up. So it goes Sergio, and then it goes Casey, and then it goes Donovan Peacock. All right, so that's, <laughs> I saw your order, and I'm like, I haven't done that one yet. So did I miss it? I didn't miss it. It wasn't your turn yet. That's what's going on. Sergio Espinoza. Five matchless, five jet black spirit. Here it goes. We're all good. And uh, you pull. Vish is Thundervish. Arkazolt? Is that Arkazolt? I don't remember his name. We've got a pack. Arkavish. Here's Blaziken. Ooh. So that's two hits. Right off the bat, dude. Wow, you are having a really good run on the match list. All right. And pack number five is cold. All right. Now we are Jet Black. Let's see what you pull over here. We've got Calyrex. Oh, man, this guy's just pulling hit after hit right now. Look at him go. Cold. Sergio, were you using all of your uh, chakra? There we go. That's the term they use. He was focusing all his chakra on his pokey poles. And cold. Wow, dude. You had the best luck of the night. That's the best luck of the night so far, Mr. Sergio. Holy. Tell us how it's done. What's your trick? What's your strategy? Squid Pokemon. Here we are, Sergio Espinoza. That's a great ooh, that's a great pull, by the way, this pony, huh? I ain't got money to blow, but $2 is a soda. That's true. Now, we move on to Casey Fjelsted. One whole box of Silver Lance and one spot in the Ancient Origins box break. Sounds good for Mr. Casey. So, let me jump over here, Casey. There we go. You number 29. And one whole box of Silverlands. Is that what you said? Yes. Silverlands. Silverlands. is pokey time in the summer. I can open it. That lid off. Happy Fourth of July. Thanks, Trent. Woohoo! All right, here we are. This is all for Mr. Now, Casey, I noticed it looks like you paid for this uh, just using cash. I thought you would have used your card. Maybe you got the card later. Sneep. So we sneep some, and we sneep some more. Sneep. And we sneep a little bit more. Sneep. And after that, just a little bit more. Sneep. And after that, several more. Sneep. And one more. Sneep. <laughs> Sneeping too many times, I think. Look at all these foil tops, man. I had to get like a a smelter or something and melt it all down, all the foil from the packs. How cool would that be? Would you guys, if I had like, if I had a way to melt all the foil packs down into uh, like a aluminum cube or something like that, would you guys buy that? <laughs> An aluminum cube made only out of Pokemon tin foil packs, huh? That'd be cool as hell. All right, that's Galarian Rapidash, not bad. Goblin says no. I'd put a Pokeball on it. 
I'd use a mold and I'd put a Pokeball in, on it, pour it into the mold, right? I think that would be very cool, actually. All right, here's Tornadus. And Tornadus, I trust. Oh, man, my back, dude. Gobbo says, okay, maybe. <laughs> yeah, imagine a mold where it's like it's a, it's a cube mold, right? And I could pour the aluminum from melted down packs into the mold and it would come out with like a little poke, pokeball engraving on it. That'd be cool as hell. Oh, or maybe the mold can just straight up be a pokeball. So you could have an aluminum foil pokeball from melted down packs and it would be like a recycled pokeball. Dude, that'd be cool as hell. I should write that down somewhere. That's like a great idea. TCC is going to have a nice firework. What? All right. There's the Calyrex. Here's the... Oh, look at this guy. Lots of Tornadoes. Hopefully your secret rare isn't Tornadoes because I'm not a big fan. Oh, it is Tornadoes. Oh, my God. The moment I said that, I jinxed it. I'm so sorry. Well, maybe there's still a hyper rare in the, in the uh, box. I say I don't like tornadoes, and so we immediately pull them. You know, it could be worse, though. Think about it. It could be just some lame trainer. Cold. Here's Porygon. Somebody out there likes tornadoes. It's just not me, that's all. Looks like tornadoes hits the gym, too. Look at those. I mean, he's got some strong arms, dude. Here's Zavrud. Here's Frostlass. Looking very frosty. Cold. Here's Brony Rex. He's such a brony. Cold. Cold. Man, I'm like a machine. How do I open these packs so fast? I've been doing this for too long, guys. Holy. And last card is Sandaconda. So there's no bonus secret rare or hyper rare in here, unfortunately. And your secret rare is the land or the thunder, the tornadoes, whatever his name is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, it could be worse. You could have gotten a meaningless trainer. Let's see. What do we got? Here he is. Ooh. He looks nice. So that goes to Mr. Casey. Now, Mr. Casey, did you have a bag? I don't know if Casey's got a bag. I feel like he does. Mr., I need a new bag. All right, new bag for Mr. Casey. Thank you, Casey. He's already on it. Oops. Happy Independence Day, you damn Yankees. Hey! Casey Fjelsted. I'm not a I'm not a Yankee. I'm a British loyalist. America should have lost the war, mister. God save the queen. No, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> All right, so I put you way up top, Mr. Casey. And now we have Donovan Peacock, who says two live custom bloosters. Mr. Donovan Peacock, here goes. We got Team Yell Grunt and Vitality Band. I'm sorry. Those are pretty rough. Pretty rough. Where did we put your bag? Here we are. Well, lucky for you, you got the Mega Tyranitar. Ooh. Now we've got Dustin Henderson. Holy. Two EV heroes, one team up. Dustin, tonight might be your crazy lucky night. Because um, these are some lucky EV hero packs. They're technically not as lucky as they could be because there's two packs after them. This is the bottom of a box of EV Heroes where a hit hasn't come out. Also, the team-up box is uh, kind of nice right now, too. I'm not going to not gonna lie. Let's see what happens. Yep, potential for a double hit. Dustin. Oh, Justin Articuno. Whew. <laughs> All right, how about the EV Heroes? Cold. <laughs> so it's going to be the next guy. Holy... Dustin, I'm so I'm so sorry, Dustin. It didn't didn't play out. It's gonna be the next guy who opens these two packs. And uh, in the meantime, Mr. Dustin Henderson, let's go find your box. Sometimes, Dustin, you get very lucky. Sometimes not. That's just the way it plays. That has got to be. Oh, that's got to be the next hit. I'm pretty sure. 
It has to be. Or it's a, I guess it could be a box with no hit. I think that happened to us one other time, but I think it's a, it's a defective box in that case. I don't think it's supposed to happen. Dan. Here we are, Dustin Henderson. How's it going, Dustin? Welcome back, man. Mr. Dustin. All right. So I get XY box, Mike missed a day, right? <gasps> you're winning, you're winning. Now you're ahead. If you're ahead one more day, you get the whole XY box. Oh, speaking of XY box, um, what are we gonna give away? We need to do a giveaway for when we hit 20,000 subscribers. I was thinking of giving away a whole box of XY evolutions. What do you guys think? I think that's what we'll do. So next up, we got Joshua Artiega. He says, hey, what's up? Can I please get two live custom boosters, one hidden eights, and six chilling rain? So that's for Joshua Artiega. Mr. Joshua, let's see what you get. Do -do 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 -do. Chin chow. Do -do -do. Oh. Ponita. Oh, I'm sorry. That's rough. One hidden fates, though, huh? Maybe you will get lucky with the hidden fates. Good old hidden fates. You did that for 10k, mister. Something different. Well, it's an awfully good thing to do, right? The uh, Evo Illusions. So here is Swablu Shiny. All right. I'll take it. Swablu Shiny, mister. Dude, Hidden Fates hits different. Six Chilling Rain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'll give away a $1,000 Charizard. Giveaway spot in Gym Challenge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mister, how many Japanese slabs for sale on that table? Uh, technically, the Magneton is a Japanese slab, yes. Hazy says Shining Legends. Snip. Spot in gym challenge would be sweet. Well, yeah, I mean, it would be sweet if I gave away a $7,000 Charizard, too. All right, Mr. Josh, here goes. Can write a note card for Andrea Love's bag saying that we have live shipping next time we ask. We paid for it last night. Uh, Andrea Love, I'm already ahead of you. It says right here, see that? It says live. So that means that you are entitled to live shipping. When I see that written on your bag, I know that you've already paid for it, okay? So you're good. Here's two hollows. Now we're going through these chilling grains. Porygon, for Mr. Joshua, are you watching Josh? Come on, Josh. Lady in, lady in red. Here's Shop It. And Sobble Rillaboom. Oh, Rillaboom. And finally, Rillaboom Rune Rages. Wow, that was a round of six cold packs of Chilling Rain for Mr. Joshua Artiega. Uh, Josh, I tell you what I'll do. I'll toss in this bonus Eevee full art, okay? And uh, you got a bunch of hollows. I'm sorry, man. That's rough. Mr. Josh. Oh, you did good last time, though, Josh. You picked up that Celebi. You picked up that Celebi last time, mister. Joshua Maldonado, he says, one, Ancient Origins. Oh, guys, the Ancient Origins is close. There's only six spots left. And then we do the box break on the Ancient Origins. Let me say something. If you guys don't buy the last spots out, I'll just open them for me, okay? So it's this is getting open tonight, guaranteed. Get me a Gyarados, mister. You got it, Joshua. Now we have Anthony Rodriguez. He says two unis. All right, Unified Minds. We don't see these all the time. I have a bag, Anthony Rodriguez. Hot ones, please. All right, two unis. Cancel TCC. What's up, Gay Stewart? Here's Zygarde. Ooh. There were guys who thought I should be canceled because I sold... Booster Packs Live in a time where very few people did that. And they're like, it's a scam. Don't do it. And now virtually everyone does it. It, it happens on all platforms too. You, you, you see it on all kinds of platforms. Cancel him quick. Mr. Anthony Rodriguez. It's because it's fun. Duh. So I'm sorry, Mr. Anthony. But these were cold ones. Anthony... Maybe. 
Anthony Rodriguez, I know you're all here for the drama. You're here to hear about my, my daily drama. Today, there was so much drama. Oh, my God, guys. Unlimited drama. Where's the cut lamello? Here we are. Cut lamello. Now we have a big order from Rafael Aguilera. Feeling bored. You're doing great. You can pull it all in the shipping bag if that's easier for you. Nine Sun and Moon base and an Ancient Origins. All right. You got it. He just wants a little spice in his life. So you're on spot number 31, the, the spot with the Charizard. There is no Charizard in that box. Now, nine Sun and Moon boosters, huh? Sweet. One, two, three. I hope you pull a lily. Have you pulled a lily yet? We need to pull you a lily. He needs some pokey spice. By the way, the music playing in the background right now is Skyrim ambient music. Uh-oh. Did, did make the break. Uh-oh. What? What are you talking about? And one more box. Pokemon. Do you think the large will be open tonight along with the Ancient Origins? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I, I think it's possible that it takes one more night for the large. But it's very close. But right now. However, you know, a spot in the large is a whopping flux. So we shouldn't. We shouldn't overestimate how fast people can buy up spots in the large. You know what I mean? 40 bucks is a lot. All right. So, Mr. Raphael, he said, pull me the hot ones. Sleep. Trump is questioning if Joe Biden is actually running the U.S. Dude, every clip I get of Joe Biden, even the latest clips, he can barely speak. It's shocking. He can barely talk. Even when he puts together coherent sentences, his words are often wrong. Like he's using the, he will like, he will start to say something like excellent and it'll come out as excellency or something like that. And it's like, no, it's, it's pretty bad. You can tell he is not all there. Uh, so there's no way, I'm sure he's got a whole team though. That's gotta be how it's done, guys. There's no way it's not the team because it's the team. Here we go. We've got Incineroar. Camilla going to become president? You're probably right. Palos Sand? You're probably right. We got Zubat Vigavolt. Woo! Yeah, it must be pretty embarrassing for Donald Trump, though, because he spent all that time in his campaign going, I can't lose to Joe Biden. He's one of the worst candidates. And then he would make fun of him. He'd make fun of the way he talks. And then what happened? He lost. <laughs> So that must be, uh, uh, and then there's people who don't believe he lost, right? There's people who think it was wigged. And uh, gosh, man, it's crazy, isn't it? Carvana, uh-oh, Mr. You got two more packs? Where's the hot ones? We need some hot ones. Araquanid, one last pack. Are you ready, Raphael? Oh my God, dude, all cold. All cold since that Ultra Ball came out. Oof! Tell you what, let's get you one bonus pack for Mr. Raphael. He opens a lot of Sun and Moon base. Should have voted for me. Also cold. Bummer, dude. Woo! Freaking cold, man. All right, we'll do one more for Raphael. Let's do one more. Raphael, I should give you these two EV heroes. <laughs> Nah, people would be mad if I do that. All right, here we go. Also cold. I'm so sorry. Two bonus packs. And uh, we're just on a cold streak in the Sun and Moon base set after that uh, ultra rare ultra ball came out. Um, I'm sure there's a hot one around the corner, but that's going to be a sweep for, for now. I, I threw in the two bonus packs. Given my Tyranitar... What? All right, quick. I'm getting your Tyranny Tar. Let me toss this in here. Buy a large for no cold. Give him one more pack. I don't have any more loose packs of Sun and Moon. I could give him one more pack. 
but then at that point, it's nine packs paid and three packs free. That's pretty, pretty, uh, <laughs> that's a pretty bad way to do anything. Unfortunately for him this time, it's just tough luck. And I think that it actually balances out a little bit because he's been having a lot of good luck. So, but I did try to help him there. I opened those two extra packs and it, was, it still was kind of cold. Give him your Rocket Suicune. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here's a pity pull. What if I did that one time? People would find that crazy. Wow. Grab a box from the bottom. Dude, this chair. How the, how the frick am I supposed to be able to get my work done in this chair? It's so bad. Oh, it's like my spine hurts. There's no way, guys. We're ending this at exactly three hours. We're not going a minute over, I swear to God. This is so uncomfortable. All right, here we go. Someone donate some money so Mr. can buy a new chair. We got a new chair on the way already, okay? New chair is already on the way. Ugh. I'm studying to be a personal trainer. Please let me help you. All right, you're hired. What are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. How are you going to help me? <laughs> so we've got, uh, oh, man, a lot of orders actually came in. We have Mr. Team Rocket Grunt. How's it going, Team Rocket Grunt? He says, let me get an evolution and a Chilling Rain Snipe. All right. So one evolution and one Chilling Rain. Yeah, actually, there was a cold streak in the Chilling Rain, too, wasn't there? There was. Here we are. You can sit on his lap. That would help. Wait, what? By the large, so I will loose. You're going to loose? What do we got? We've got far-fetched. That's so fetched. Boop. And from Chilling Rain, you pull. Wow. Echoing horn. Snipe, snipe, snipe. Here's a Pikachu. All right. Tough luck on those two packs. It was just two packs, but nothing wild coming out of them this time. Maybe the next time. Buy live custom. What? Here we are. Team Rocket Grunt. I'm sorry. Boop. Jeff Leon, he says two EV heroes and one live. Well, Jeff, it might be your lucky night. I think it's your lucky night. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Jeff, I think you might have got a double hit. One box of Jet Black for Jeff Leon. Now, he also ordered two EV heroes. Oh, my God. This is making me sick, guys. Jeff, you make me sick. He pulls. Well, that's just an Entei. Is this going to be hot? It is. I knew it. I told you. Oh, but it's just the glasses guy. Ah! <laughs> he looks like a card shop owner. He's like Logan Paul. If Logan Paul did nothing but sell Pokemon cards. All right. <laughs> we correctly predicted that it would be hot. However, you did not predict that you were going to pull a whole box of Jet Black. That's all for you. His name's Gordy. Ah, oh, man. Freaking Gordy. We put way too many Gordies. Freaking Gordy. Tell him to go back home. What a freaking nerd. There we go. Now, Jeff, on this very hot night of hot nights for you, let's see what we pull out of Jet Black Spirit. And this is really why people will take us take a spot in the live custom, because they want to do this. They want to pull this box. Some guys get unlucky. And then Je Jeff Leon gets lucky. You need the Vaporeon. What? I need to hit that vape. Mom, he's vaping too much pot. You have a bag. I don't want to hear about that. Don't tell me what goes on between you and your bag. Just use protection, okay? Okay, son. Sneep. All right, toss those to this side. We can toss the Jet Black card. The more you watch, the more you realize there's about 120, 160 between each hit in the custom. What are you talking about, man? You crazy. Cold. Here's a Cresselia. 
and you always use protection. Very good. I don't know what to say. Here's a <laughs> Metagross. Metagross, you wear protection? Pfft, protections for betas? Alpha males never use protection. Cold. I noticed a long time. Beta male. Metagross. Celebi. Boop. Here's Gengar. More like, we're in the LGBTQ Pride Month, right? More like Gaygar. <laughs> Look at this, it's Peonia. Holy moly, look at that little tie, dude. Hot. Why is it that those little ties are so like, I don't know, some about them's got me turt. I'm gonna go buy Quip a little tie right now. She doesn't have one, she, she needs to have a little tie. Here's Stira Ura. He counting your pulls, mister, switch it up. I, I'm switching it up right now. <laughs> He'll never be able to guess. <laughs> Here's uh, Calyrex, it's Brony Rex. He's actually wrong, though, by the way. I, I create the custom live booster boxes, and there is a fairly good mix of uh, hit ranges between 20. 20 is pretty rare, but 40 is actually not that rare. And then there's a lot of uh, ranges of 5, and we don't actually go up to 160 very often. But we do for a booster box. Well, it depends. Uh, the booster box would have been 120, right? So, there would have been six boxes, I'm, so, I'm sorry, six cold spots. No, five cold spots in the box and one hot spot, because somebody has to win it, right? So there would have been a total of six packs for one booster box. And uh, so it's very simple that way, right? And you hope to be the guy who pulls it. And you never know what, what point you are in the line, because somebody else might have ordered before you. Darn it. So you never know where you are in the line. Salabi, here's Tapu Pupu. Here's Weavile, weaving his lies. Get out of here, Weavile, you snake. Here's Metagross, ew. Search the six spots. Here's Greedent, cold, and Rillaboom, okay. That's a whole box of Jet Black for Mr. Jeff Leon. Oh, Jeff. Oh, my sweet, sweet Jeff. Jack Walsh, Javier, Jacob, Jeff, Jeff Leon. All right, you got a fat bag, Jeff. I don't know, man. We're going to have to put you somewhere. Look at that Peonia. What? Damn. Mister, I don't need the hollows. Taking out the hollows, keeping your bag smaller. You got any other bonus hollows you want to give away? I know you want to give away these other hollows. Let me know. Got some pointless hollows in here. We can make your bag way smaller. Look at all these guys. So many great hollows. Do you want to give these up? Better tell me now. Take the hollows, says Cheese. Take it. Look how much smaller the bag is. Do it, mister. Just make sure we keep the Japanese ones. Oh, you want the Japanese hollows. I'm sorry. Here we go. Yeah, you want the Japanese hollows. You kind of confused me. There we go. Japanese hollows all day. Take one dollar off the large. <laughs> I do it and then it sells out instantly. Next up, we got Ross. He says, first off, how's your day, sir? And then please, one Ancient Origins and two McDonald's. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You got it, Mr. Russ. Mr. Russ, you're one of the last guys with the nickname still. So you're on spot number 32. Russ, imagine if I spent all this time calling you Russell. I don't know, man. I don't know if that'll be okay. So here's the McDonald's. And one more McDonald's. So he said two McDonald's and one Ancient Origin. We did the Ancient Origin. Four spots left in the box break. Oh, it's close. It is close. Boop. You got a Froakie. A Froakie with a lot of hollow bleed. 
Dude, my back's hurting like crazy. And Snivy, you you got Pikachu, Russ. You did it. Non-hollow Pikachu. You did it. Yay. Russ, quick, tell your girlfriend. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like trying to flex my back a little bit to try and help it out. So painful. We're only 100 minutes in. 80 more minutes of this? I don't know, man. So at 60 minutes, I'm probably going to call it. I'm probably going to say no more orders because... I'm not dealing with this back pain. This is so bad. This chair is not designed for sitting in. It's designed for looking at. Next up, we got Dustin Henderson. He says two Eevees. All right, you got it, Mr. Dustin. Two Eevee heroes. Mr. Dustin, snip. Watch this. Everyone's going to have an order for two Eevee heroes in a minute here. Now, Dustin got Grimmel Snarl. Urgh, snarl. And a cold one. Mister, I didn't know you had a gaming channel. That's right, I'm a gamer. The Game Economist was my original YouTube channel. Go check it out, guys. There's a link to it in the description. I have 130,000 subscribers over there. You know, if I had just kept working on that channel, it'd probably be like 200,000 by now at least. You know, when you're a big channel, you've already got a lot of subs. People subscribe faster. That's just a fact. Because they go, okay, you're an established channel. I'll click the button. You know what I mean? So I, I stopped working over there and I came over here. But I'm much happier opening Pokemon cards than playing uh, Monster Hunter right now. So uh, Pokemon ended up becoming the thing I enjoy more. Uh, but I'm actually, I just bought a new laptop and I bought a new microphone and I got a new capture card and I'm preparing to do live streams again on the Game Economist. Especially for when Elden Ring comes out, by the way, which I'm heavily anticipating. I'm extremely excited. TCC, let's not go by my real name. <laughs> You got it. <laughs> Ramiro, he says, one Eevee. If you must, Mr. Ramiro. How much for your broken chair? It's already in the trash can. Already in the trash. It would cost so much to ship it, even. Shipping that chair would be terrible. Eldegoss, woo! That's for Ramiro. Mister, is my Japanese card from the break and my card still in the bag? I didn't see them. Uh, yes. I'm sure they are because I only took uh, I only took English hollows out. There are no Japanese cards at all. Okay. Have no fear. Now, Mr. Ramiro is right here. I only took English ones. I promise. I pinky promise. Pinky. Okay, next up, we've got James O'Brien, who says one in the large. All right, Mr. James. It could be the one. It's always possible. Here we are. Some people pick up more than one spot and uh, go home with nothing. And then sometimes they are the one who pull the hot spot. You, never, you just never know. It's, it's very random. But what you do know is once you have a spot in the large, you've got a chance. All right. After James, we have Raphael, who says, Was I the next guy? Lol, two Eevee heroes and one custom. Is that right? Oh, yes. All right. Let's see. Mr. Raphael, you're not the next guy, but you can still get lucky in this next box. Let's see what happens. Could still happen. You never know. I told you guys everyone would order Eevee heroes. Sneak. When do you open the large? When it's sold out. All right, that's a cold pack. And <gasps> Sylveon. Oh, mister. That's a Sylveon VMAX. Woo. <laughs> uh, should I go? I'll throw this in your regular bag for now. Raphael with a Sylveon VMAX. Looks like she's going wee. Next up, we got Connor Gillespie. How's it going, Connor? He says, two EV heroes. You got it, Mr. Connor? Mr. Connor, I made fried chicken at 2 a.m. Fried chicken. Mm. Man, I love fried chicken. We don't have any fried chicken uh, restaurants out here where I live. So that's probably one of the healthiest changes in my life is no fried chicken where I live. You got Flareon. He's using fire jitsu. Hold on. Let me concentrate my chakra. Oops. <laughs> All right, Connor. Connor Gillespie. Where do we put Connor Gillespie? I don't remember. Are you up top? 
Alexio Cheese, Brian Oto. Uh, how about this box? Alexander, Christopher, Cesar Soto, Carlos. So you're not, oh, I see your bag. I see your bag, here it is. Mr. Connor. Connor, if you don't have the Pokey Rich Roll in the Discord, be sure to contact me for it, okay? Next up, we got Joshua Ortega, who says two more live custom bloosters. Mr. Josh, doo -doo 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 -doo. we got Thwacky and doo -doo 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 -doo. Perserker. Oof, I'm sorry, Josh. Be careful with those live customs. They can sting. Boop. Mr., you missed my live custom. Oh, give me a second. Hold on. You're correct. So actually, Joshua Artiega has one of your live customs. So first of all, I apologize, Mr. Raphael, but you pulled a thwacky out of yours. Whoops. Here you go, mister. He's looking for the hot pulls. See how he's looking? He's looking to the branches. All right, I'm sorry, Mr. Raphael. Now, what that means is uh, we pull one more for Mr. Josh. Could you show the slobs again? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah, it's still a cold one. Scaruppy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought maybe you had a shot, Josh. Can I show the slabs again? Uh, okay, Nine Tails, Eevee. Rock is sweet, Coon. I want that one. Here's a, a Nine or EV9 uh, Sunker Magnazone. So that's a Japanese vintage Magneton. Here's a Japanese card right here. So that's Urshifu VMAX. And here's a Butterfree. Butterfree is kind of cool. None of these have been priced except this guy. Okay, so we helped Josh. Now we have Casey, one spot in the large. You got it, Casey. Oh, man. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'll go for a full three hours. This is it's kind of like just leaning forward with no back support at all. And I already have a lot of back pain after doing this for about two hours. So this is pretty terrible. Oh, maybe if I just stand up or something. Oh, oh guys, it's so bad. I don't know what to say. It, this stupid chair doesn't allow you to rest your back at all. Why would they design chairs so crummy, dude? Whoever designed this chair should just be fired. It's like it's like the chair has zero lumbar lumbar support, you know what I mean? Who designs chairs? Dear God, man. All right. Back to it. Who designed this chair? Kevin Jenner, Mr. Can I get five EV heroes? You sure can, Kevin Jenner. One, two, three, four, five. Mister, get a bigger butt. <laughs> I didn't even think of that, Cheese. I just need a bigger butt. All right. I'm getting the Brazilian butt injection. I took a late shower. Nice, man. We can still hear you when you stand up. Here it goes. Cold. Here's... Umbreon V, pop a molly. I'm gonna pop a painkiller in a minute, cold. It's just a very bad chair. Raichu, and up, ah, Zoroark. Work, work, work. I'm sorry, Kevin. Kevin, that was not the one. Mr. Kevin, how much do you have on the Cinderace slab? Uh, I don't know, give me a minute. Kevin, I, you know, I typically don't spend a lot of time advertising the slabs. They're just whatever's up there is up there. The problem with uh, window shopping for the slabs is people will ask me to price every slab and they'll be like, show me all your slabs. But, you know, they don't typically buy them. So I just show off a few each night and I don't worry too much about it. But I do need to price these up. However, we will do that when the stream slows down, which right now it's not slow at all. So you got to tell people to stop ordering cards. You got to be like, hey. I want to know the price of stuff. Ancient Origins and Four Eevee Heroes for Adam Moondorf. What's up, Adam? Welcome back. Mr. Adam, I haven't seen you in a little while. Moondorf. Three spots left, and then we have the Ancient Origins break. You know, you guys probably shouldn't buy any more spots. They're probably all sold out. Just want to warn you that. Now, Four Eevee Heroes, huh? So I think you have a high shot 
at getting lucky here, Mr. Adam. You ready? Sneeps. Here it goes. Did Kitty just open my door? <laughs> oh my God. Kitty just opened the door somehow. <laughs> that doesn't seem normal. All right, I better go close to the door because I'm going to wake my wife up. Here's a leafy on. Do you open the door? I guess the handle doesn't work very well or something. And. Oh, Jolteon Alternative Art. Congratulations. Who is this for? Adam Moondorf. I told you you had a high shot. Very, very, pretty much the end of the box right there. There's like one pack left. So let me go close my door. I'll be back. I guess the door doesn't shut all the way, so you can just push it open anytime you want, huh? <laughs> so, that was for Adam Moondorf. Congratulations to Adam. Now, we need to go find his bag. Here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> Adam, want my Gordy for that? Adam's like, yeah, I love Gordy. Austin, peace. All right, so he's not in here. How about this bag, box? Anthony Daloa, Andres Rataj. Looking for an Adam Mundorf. All right, he's not in there. All of the A boxes are essentially full. He needs a new bag? Oh, okay. Thank you. That saves a little bit of time knowing that. Kitty's definitely here for the poll. She's here for the polls. Adam. Moondorf. Man, even that broken chair was way more comfortable than this one. You guys are going to hear me. Oh, man. There's just no more room. All the A boxes are completely full. We just can't have that. Um, okay, so give me a minute. We're going to remove Andraz. He's got a really full bag here. And Adam can go in there now. And Andraz has got to go up top somewhere. Let's see. Alexander Morales. He should come out, go down low. So Christopher Martinez's second bag is in here. I'm almost, I'm almost thinking to myself, maybe remove Christopher Martinez. Oh, nope, because this fits perfectly. Okay, cool. So now, Alexander Morales, you're going to be down here, where you belong. All right, because you got a small bag. Next up, we got Raphael. He says, entertain the people. Nine more Sun and Moon base. You got it, mister. One, two, and three. Here we are. And this is crazy, but here's my number. So call me, baby. Got to hear that song. Mr. Show Kitty in the chair. Well, here's Kitty. Kitty, what are you doing? She's hanging out. Simba. Kitty, all that the fluorescent light touches is yours. Okay, here's three. Haunted house. Down here where you belong, peasant. <laughs> I want to call cheese what? More sun and moon. Don't call me. I don't care. Whatever. I hate you. Wow, cheese. It's a bit dramatic. <laughs> All right, there we are. Got my big boy cold diapers on. Oh. <laughs> Mister, I'm a knight, not a peasant. <laughs> not until you pull it, Galarian Sir Fetch, mister. All right, oops, hold on. There we go. Aha! There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, check it out. Are you ready? I'm eating ramen, mister. Hey, I had ramen twice today. 
I had ramen for lunch and dinner. Too much ramen, maybe? I feel like I'm going to throw up next time I eat ramen. I need to find a new dish to eat. Sneep. Don't forget my comment. Russ, I forgot your comment. What was your comment? Sneep. All right. Mr. Raphael, these are the next nine packs, so they couldn't possibly be cold. That would be improbable. Here goes. We've got Gigalith, instantly cold. And a little pup, Arcanine. Oh, Arcanine. Can't go wrong with Arcanine. Here's Cabraler. Wow, these are cold so far. And Aloha Persian. Okay. Here's Arcanine Reverse Hollow. Wow, man. It's almost like there's no GXs in this box at all. That's how I'm feeling. Here's Energy Retrieval. Crobat. Wow. And a Raquanid. So, GMAC opened some of these packs too, and I noticed a similar pattern where she pulled an awful lot of cold packs. On the other hand, you pulled that ultra rare uh, Ultra Ball, right? So I feel like there's no way we just had 18 cold packs in a row. I'm almost wondering if these packs didn't have GXs in them. Have we pulled a single GX yet? So let me open these up. I'm going to open up another one. Let's see what we get, Mr. Raphael. Man, I'm going to call the guy I bought these from and, and tell him I didn't like them at all. But actually, it's probably not his fault. It's not his fault. It was a factory sealed box. So it's just the factory sealed product. That's it. It's probably some kind of defect, guys. I think it's a defect where there's no GXs. But give it a minute. So three more packs, huh? <laughs> just as I say that, we pull Espeon GX and it has perfect looking centering. There we go. It was just in the next pack. It was just a cold run, that's all. Just a cold run. Dratini and Stufel. All right, so Mr. Raphael, I'm throwing you the Espeon. Uh, it's just a cold run in the box. That's all there is to it. I, I thought maybe maybe it was a factory defect or something like that, but that is not the case. Uh, it is actually just a tough round, I guess. You know, it is possible for rounds to be unusually cold. I've, I've seen it before. Uh, but usually you pull something within five packs. So the idea that 20 packs, one GX, I, that's just really cold. I'm sorry, Mr. Raphael. That was really tough. I won't stop anyone from donating their cards to you. Let's go ahead and refresh. Mr. Price the Slabs. Wow, Mr. So Kind. Yeah, we opened up three packs, and uh, I tossed you that Espeon. I didn't like those pulls. Those were pretty bad. You got one Espeon in, in 18 packs. That's, that's like as cold as it gets. So I don't know what to say. All I can say is you also got those... Uh, you did get that nice Ultra Ball. Mr. Pokemon Company making mistakes. I pulled a French booklet in my English. Hidden Face 10. What? A French booklet? The French? Who are they? I've never heard of them before. Weren't they like that ancient civilization that went extinct? I thought they are an extinct... Uh, I forgot about them. So let's see. So... We helped... Where are we? Entertain the people. Team Rocket... Grunt says two EV heroes. Here you go, Mr. Team Rocket Grunt. Whew. Cardboard is getting scarce. Got to print Pokemon cards on cheese slice wrappers now. That's true. All right. Good luck to Team Rocket Grunt. You ready? It's cold. Pack number two. And it's Marshadow in pack number two. Very interesting. Wow. That's the one I wanted. All right, I apologize. It is just two packs. Do the French have a reputation in the trading cards? I don't know. What do the French have a reputation for? Adam Moondorf says two Chilling Rain and one XY Evos. All right, you got two Chilling Rain. Here we are. And one Chilling Rain. Or one XY Evo. Here we are. Only hot ones, right? How many spots in Ancient Origin? I think there's like three spots and then it's over. Thank you for my polls. The girl I'm talking to said you're very nice and I got a big pee-pee chew. I guess I'll be back. Hold on. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> my lord, what the... Woo! They have a reputation of having illegal mines in Africa. Illegal! Piano And... Bonnet. How about the evolutions? Come on, Poliwag! Oh, mister! Don't tell anyone you got Poliwag. They're going to come steal it. That is a tough round for Alex Mundorf. So, Alex, you had a hot round tonight, and then you had a cold round. I'm sorry, Adam. All is in balance. <laughs> Here we go. The French have a reputation in shiny hunting. What do the French have a reputation in? I don't actually hear very much about the French ever. Now we've got Joshua Artiega. He says one large custom booster and one chilling rain. All I know is that they have a leader called Makan. <laughs> we got Castform and Frostlass. Woo! Did you get my order? Uh, Williams, William Falls. Oh, a pre-order, huh? I might not have seen that. It's possible I didn't see it. So let's go ahead and get this large custom booster. What'd you order, Mr. W William Valls? You want to tell me real fast before I go look it up? Baguettes. That's right. They love baguettes. French us no for small pee pee. Mister, I don't really care about the French. I automatically hate countries that have high taxes. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Just two jet blacks. You got it, mister. Let me go get you those two jet blacks. So who is this for? Joshua Artiega, right? Yes, Mr. Joshua. Yes. And here are the jet blacks down here. Oui, oui. we. I am Emmanuel Macron. Oui, oui. we. <laughs> Mr. Will you have the celebration set coming out in October? You bet. You bet your booty cheeks. This is me smacking them booty cheeks. All right, we got Blissey. And, oh, two hits. Metagross. Boop. Joshua Artiega was the large. Yes. Did I put the name down wrong? <laughs> I put down William Valls because I, I started talking to William Valls. Oh, I'm so sorry, Josh. We've, we caught it, Josh. I'm sorry. Joshua... Artiega. He wins and it goes to William Valls instead of him. <sighs> Alright, that's not going to happen. Not on my watch when you tell me. <laughs> Sorry about that, Josh. Alright, so. But this does go to William Valls, right? That's what's going on here? Just checking and then double checking. Let's see. Where is William Valls? Wesley Ferguson? Xavier Westonini. Zachary, do you need a new bag? He probably needs a new bag, right? My birthday's in February. Someone buy me the last large spot. <laughs> it's your half birthday present. All right, here we are. How exciting. Next up, we've got Mr. Cheese. He says, one free large. All right, Cheese asked for free large, so we're getting him a free spot in the large. Here you go, Cheese. That's for the snipe. I need a sugar mommy to buy me more pokies. Mommy! He wants some mommy milkers. And now we have Jeff Leon, one live, one ancient. Jeff Leon, are you ready for this? Do, 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 do. Oh! Jeff, you can't keep getting this lucky. Two in the large. The large is over, everyone. That's the end of the large. Woo! All right. You can't keep getting this lucky, Jeff. What the frick? Jeff Leon. Jeff Leon. And this is 24, and this is 25. All right. Jeff! 
so in order to begin the large, I will need to go and make up. Uh, oh, he also put himself in the ancient origin, right? Yep. So there are only oh, two spots left in the ancient origin. Guys, again, they're probably already sold out. Don't order any more ancient origin, okay? In fact, I'm going to go mark the ancient origin as sold out. Actually, I'm not even going to mark it as sold out. I'm just going to remove it because we're not opening another box. All right. Because if we did, I'd have to raise the price, and you wouldn't like that. I gotta go make up 25 packs. I'll be back. Ooh. Oh, oh, kitty. Kitty, I don't know about that chair, man. Okay, we got the prize hit here, number 10. And number 9. There's always a bonus hit. Let's get that bonus hit. All right. So we need 25, 25 pulls. We got one, two, three, four, five. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, hi kitty, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. All right, let's go ahead and recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, we got all 25. I'm Bach. I'm Bach. I'm Mozart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. That's twenty-five packs. She just slapped me on my booty cheeks. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, for
So that's actually a large with 27 spots. Ooh, very interesting. Intrigue? One more card. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. So there were actually 27 spots. We accidentally sold too many spots. And uh, I'm adding a third slab to it, valued, uh, well, I've got a third slab and an extra raw card that's nice too. So that's what's going on. All right, there's the large slabs. Now these will be placed right here. There we go. And we know the very last pack is the hot one. Now we're going to shuffle up the names. Quick, look it up. Don't look it up. I'm going to loose. Oh, that was terrible. Thought I was getting good at this. Raphael says it's too late now. Games and Chill wants his refund for the large. Uh, oh, hold on. Games and Chill? Is that actually somebody? What's going on? Oh, he says no, no. Okay, cool. So, I'll start shuffling these. Woo! Shuffling it up. Misunderstanding, no problem. All right, there we go. Pick a card, any card. Bong rip time. Oh, mister. God, I feel like I'm getting bit on my head by a bug. All right. Oh, you know what? I said pick a number, any number, because I was imagining being like a card trick magician. I wasn't actually done shuffling. I forgot. We actually asked the audience for a number. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, we weren't ready. Still shuffling. So people like to see a really nicely shuffled deck. Okay. We're getting pretty close. We'll do a few more of these. Oh, that was really good. Oh. Boy, I'm going to get hired at a casino soon. One last shuffle. All right. Nice and shuffled, right? So, can I ask the audience to pick a number to split the deck. Andras says 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, we're going to invert that because this is the 15th card. So the 15th card is now on the bottom. And he's the lucky guy. Congratulations, whoever that was. Here we go. Michael Mullen coming out first. Mr. Michael, boop, 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 pulling flying Pikachu. All right. Now we got to find Michael Mullen's bag. Did we just ship Michael? I feel like we just shipped Michael. Oh, my God. Why are there so many bags?
Here we are, Michael Molland, with a lovely secret rare flying Pikachu from XY Evolutions. But that's a cold pull. And now get ready to get some tough pulls, guys. We got Alex PSX on four. Alex, woo! Mr. Alex, that's a cold one. We've got Mr. Sven Krill. He got Tapu Coco Finu. Woo! Next up, we've got Tori Bishop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, Tori Bishop pulling a full art Gardevoir. How nice. All right, Gardevoir. This goes into Mr. Cr uh, Christopher Martinez's bag, which is right over here, his second bag. How wild. Now we've got Jeff Leon. Doo -doo -doo. Tyranitar. That's actually kind of nice. Here, I'll toss it in your bag. Well, I can actually see from here he's off center. Sorry. Junk. Here's Michael Molland. Mr. Michael. Boop, boop, boop. Lycanroc. Mr. Michael Molland. Two spots left. Butt cracks. Swing. You're in here three times, Alex. Joey Barton. Mr. Joey Barton. Uh, okay, so you got Hollow Malamar, Mr. Joey. Now we have Andrea Love. Mr. Andrea pulling Dunsparce. Mr. Andrea, sorry for the Dunsparce. Here's Andrea Love again. Wow, look, despite how many times we did the back and forth, 18 and 17 still showed up right next to each other. So weird how that works. Spinarak. This is the face on Spinarak's back. It's like, that's not a hot one. <laughs> All right, and now we've got David Muller, Mr. David Muller. Misty's Water Command. Where's David Muller? I feel like you might actually like that because it's got Misty on it. Everybody wants a Misty. All right, next pack. Mr. Alex. Oh, Alex. Hey, but you pick up a Rilla Boom. I know how much you're into that Rilla Boom, Mr. Alex. Alex, I saw, <clears throat> I saw a bag for you somewhere. Here it is. All right, real boom. Here's Andrea Love. Oh, Andrea Love. I'm sorry, Andrea Love. That's probably you knocked out. So, Mr. Andrea Love. That's a tough round. Were these all yours? Boop. Who is next? Here's Mr. R. Marquez. Doo -doo -doo. Santa Scorch, I'm sorry, Mr. Marquez. James O, Mr. James Pullen. Ah, professors of research. Ah, I'm sorry, James O. Sully Schlegel pulling Obstagoon. Oh, Sully. I know you were after that Obstagoon. Here's Sully Schlegel again. Mr. Sully pulling. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. A reverse hollow Gengar. Oh, Mr. Sully. Lewis, lack, oh wait, that's the wrong box. Sully, I know you're gonna want that Gengar. Oh, S box, I'm going crazy, dude. Sven, Sylvester, Shooter McSweaty, Sully Schlegel. Here you go, mister. Next up, we got Jeremy Helmstadter. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, what's this? Mr. Jeremy pulls Muck and a Lowen Muck. All right. Alex says one spot left. I'm sweating. So you pull a, a Muck from Unbroken Bonds, I think. GX. Doot. Alex. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Alex. That's all Terrier. Oops. What do we got? Joshua Artiega, Mr. Joshua pulls Machamp. I'm sorry, Josh. Josh, that is tough. Doop. I actually remember, I just wrote that card up. Mr. Marquez, oh, that's Lycanroc. Now we're getting close to the end. Getting pretty close. Just a few more cold ones, it looks like. Devin Kawamura, he was the first one in. And Devin, that was a cold card. I'm sorry, Devin. Here's Tori Bishop. Tori gets a cold one. No! Sorry, Tori Bishop. And Casey Fielsted. Now, is this the beginning? Let's see. This is either cold or hot. 
Oh, it's hot. So that's the beginning. Mr. Casey Fjellstedt picks up Hyper Rare Santa Scorch. All right, Casey, I think you said you needed a new bag, right? Here's a new bag for Mr. Casey. Casey, you missed the slabs, but you came very close and picked up a Rainbow Rare Senna Scorch. Congratulations. Now, this guy's going to pull the Lugia 9, I believe. It is. Jeff Leon. Jeff Leon's having a... Oh. Oh, it's the extra slab. I remember now. So the extra slab was what? It was an extra Hyper Rare and an extra slab. So Jeff Leon, not a slab, but you get Hyper Rare Butterfree. It looks very nice, by the way. There you go. All right. Hyper Rare Butterfree. Now, these are the slabs. Starting with Cheese. Holy moly. What did Cheese get? Mr. Cheese, you got the secret card. That was the one we added because we had too many spots. This is Magneton Hollow from Pokemon Fossil, and it is graded PSA 9. All right, Mr. Cheese, not bad, not bad. Yeah, I added the Butterfree, and I added this Magneton to the uh, pulls. Mr. Cheese. Now, how many names are left? Two names. So I think the next guy gets the PSA 9 Lugia. Who is that going to be? David Muller. Damn, this guy gets crazy lucky in these. How does he get so lucky? Number nine. All right, so that is a fantastic pull for you, David. Shining Lugia, PSA 9. Very enviable. Who's still in there? Who's that last card? Does anyone already know? Who is that last card? Write David's name down. Mr. David. It's me, says Toro Teal. Is it really? It's Alex. No, Alex is out. He said he had one spot left. It is. What? He did not just get pulled twice. <gasps> what? He got pulled both times. That's crazy. <laughs> I did not expect that even a little bit. Damn. That's crazy lucky. He got both slabs for a value of around a thousand dollars. Holy Jesus, dude. All right, David, you're gonna have to slip me that five dollars for the special shuffle. What the hell? That that's crazy. Now we always know this can happen, right? I've talked about this many times. I've always said when there's two slabs in the large, you have to have two spots. And although it's unlikely, you could be the guy to pull both spots. So it's totally possible. It's just statistically, it's unlikely, right? But tonight it happened. Holy moly, man. What is that, Dave Charmander? It is, it's Dave Charmander. He took a risk on the large and it paid off uh, incredibly well for him. Holy moly's. Dude, you're pokey wealthy now. Oh my God. I don't even know what to think. All right, that is the end of the large. When I saw David Muller's name come out the second time, I didn't even know what to say. It was, it was crazy. All right. Woo! He definitely ranks as one of the luckier people on the channel now because he got lucky in a different, uh, I don't remember what it was. Was it a different large? I'm pretty sure he got lucky really high, uh, really well in a different large. The last large, I think, he pulled multiple slabs then too. All right, guys. So this means it's time to start a new large. That's what that means. And we could have it be anything we want. We could get rid of the large and replace it with the gym challenge large. The gym challenge large would be, uh, basically it would be exactly like the large, but you're playing for a pack of gym challenge. What do you guys think? Do you prefer slabs or do you prefer gym challenge? Cough, cough, rocket Suicune. <laughs> How much credit can I get for my card, says Cheese? Uh, you can you can definitely get some credit. Uh, I would offer you about 70 bucks for the Magneton, Mr. Cheese. 
Yeah, I'd offer you 70. Jim Challenge says, Ever, what do you guys think? We can either run a new large or we can run a uh, Jim Challenge run. Oops, laptop's going to shut off. Casey says slabs. Jeff says Jim. Chris Boss says slab. Goblin says Jim. Jim Bobby says Jim. Elon Muck says slabs. People really like the slabs, huh? <laughs> I like James O. He says junk. We'll have a run of the large where you get all of the junk boxes. <laughs> Dudes! All right, the slabs win it. I'm going to go grab a new slab. I'll be back. So we're going to play the large properly. The goal of the large wasn't to get rid of a bunch of cheap slabs. It was actually meant to it was meant to give out a very expensive one. And recently, we've been doing, like, cheap slabs, but I want to get away from that and focus on expensive ones again. So give me a minute. I have to do the work of finding something expensive now. Really ought to sort these out so that I have it on hand. I don't know why. Oh, I've got the perfect card. Well, yeah, I got the perfect card. I got the perfect card for you guys. Give me a minute. Well, I don't know where I put it. Oh, man. Okay, I had the perfect card. I don't know where it is now. So, hmm. Uh, okay, let me just go through this box then. Sorry, guys. I had a really great card to, to use, but I, I don't know where it went. Kitty hit it, probably. my cards guys it'll be a minute large let's get a really nice oh i like this one a lot okay okay i got some stuff guys i got some stuff that'll make you pee, pee hard i like these two right here quite a lot actually I like to pick really nice cards out too, right? Not just expensive ones, but really nice ones. Okay. I'm thinking maybe this Lugia and this little pee, -pee chew right here. Modern and vintage. We changed our mind, says Toro Teal. We want Jim. Jeff says Jim. Goblin says Jim. Alex says Jim. Who wants Jim versus uh, the large? All right. I mean, I can save these for another night. That's totally fine. Yeah, we can do these another night. And uh, we can start up a round for the gym. Give me a moment. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. Okay, so for the gym challenge, uh, it's real simple. There will be 19 spots for the gym challenge. And uh, let's see, will we actually need energy? Let me think about how I want to do it. You want gym? See, but all the gyms are going to have to sell first, guys. Well, you got to start somewhere. All right, so we're going to say gym challenge first edition. So any spot in the large that comes out of the uh, box now, the live custom box, will go toward this. And there will be a total of 19 spots at $40 per spot. And this will put you into the gym challenge uh, box break, which is available now. But it could take us a while to sell it. Okay, there we go. Gym challenge. Sweet. So that replaces the large for now. And I'll go update PayPal's. I'll go update uh, YouTube, I mean. One four forty. All right, that's been updated, and now we move on with the list. Oh man! So we helped Jeff Leon, and now we've got Sean Leon. He says one of these large custom things, I guess. Ugh. So Sean Leon, can I place you in here, Sean? Is Sean Leon watching? I'm gonna place him in here for now. If you change your mind, let me know, okay? It's uh, 1 in 19 odd to pull a Gym Challenge Booster Pack. First edition. Have I shown off the box to you guys? Let me show the box off. You guys need to see the box. You have to be enticed by it. Here it is. More expensive than a lot of cars these days. Think of how many boats this is. Crazy to think that once upon a time, these probably cost like 100, 150 bucks. Whew. This is the real deal. This is the highly collectible stuff. Very old. All right. So I'm in this box break myself. I, I promise you I will be. When we do this box break, I might actually take four packs for myself. I'm a big Gym Challenge fan. Very big Gym Challenge fan. When I was a kid, my dad opened a bunch of that stuff. Did you get my Ancient Origins order? I probably did. We're just very slow at the moment, okay? So, Sean Leon, we did that. And now we have Connor Gillespie. Spot in the AO box for Connor Gillespie. Connor Gillespie. All right, after this next spot, we also do the Ancient Origins box break. So some of you guys are going to be waiting all night. Mr. Donovan Peacock, he orders two live and two Ancient Origins. All right, Ancient Origins is done. Are you ready? Oh, it's the bummer card. The bummer card returns. That's number two. So bummer card is up to two. I apologize, you pulled the bummer card. The bummer card evolves into a hot card when it reaches a, a high enough number. Probably when it reaches about, I want to say 10. 10 might be a little high, though. It might be more like 5. All right, bummer card goes to the back. And now your, your next card is just Chin Chow. So you had a rough round there, Mr. Donovan Peacock. However, you are going to jump into the Ancient Origins box here. What the fuck is the bummer card? It's new. The way it works, uh, I'll explain exactly how it works. 
So the way the live custom booster box works, let's say, uh, okay, see this Rapid Strike Urshifu, how it's 135 bucks. So what I might do is I might uh, I might uh, round it down to 120 or I might, uh, uh, let's say round it up to 140, just depends. You know, if I think people want the card, I might round it up. So 140, that'd be seven packs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's how the live custom boosters are made. We got seven packs, one of them's the hit and the others are cold. So with the bomber card, uh, the bomber card is not going to be involved with any slab. It's not tied to subsidizing the cost of a particular slab. The bummer card just floats around at the back of the box until somebody unluckily pulls it, and it, it ticks up by one. And when it eventually ticks up high enough, I'm going to take the bummer card out of the box, and I'm going to place a hit in, an expensive one, uh, and it won't have anything but one pack for that hit. So once the bummer card reaches like 10 or something, bummer card comes out, and just one booster pack goes into the box, and it's a hot pull. So it's a very fun thing because it's like a it's like a global hot pull. Think of it like that. It's like a global hot pull. And uh, so that's exactly what it is. Donovan Peacock had the misfortune of pulling it tonight. Uh, somebody else will uh, probably tomorrow night or the next night or whenever it shows up again. And Mr. Donovan, we're going to start the Ancient Origin box break. Donovan says, was there not two spots? I tell you what, Donovan, I'll give you my spot to make it less complicated. So he number six. Yeah, there were not two spots left. There you go. So I'll take spot number five. You'll take spot number six. You'll be six and 36. Okay, Donovan? So that fixes that. Does he get a $30 refund since he ordered two, but only one was left? Okay, he just asked. And what I did was I, I'm giving him up. I'm giving up one of my spots so that he gets a spot two. I could do that for the next guy, I guess. Hold on, let me refresh. Frosty Caribou bodying King Gary. About t time someone called that clown out. Much CGC. My CGC blue label. My PSA is so great. My MetaZoo. What happened? I, drama. Drama alert. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Mr. Donovan Peacock. Let me go ahead and put this chin chow in your bag real fast. And jump in here. How much for the Magneton or the Eevee? Uh, so I would just have to go look up the prices. We're very far behind right now, Casey. We're very far behind, okay? So you'll have to wait, okay? I only price when I don't have something in, uh, busy to do. All right, cool. So the box is ready to open. Ancient Origins. Hit the like if you guys are excited for Ancient Origins. I am. I got one spot in the box, and I'm hoping it's a hot spot. So we might not open Ancient Origins for a while after this. We've opened a lot of Ancient Origins, and I'm a huge fan. But the price on these is going up, and we're part of the reason for that. King Gary is using his influence to shill his friend's company, and honestly, it left a sour taste in my mouth, says Curspot. I see what you're saying. Um, I mean, you know... Competition for PSA is good, in my opinion. I, there's going to be a lot of grading companies. I don't dislike them for it. It's just business. Are, are you ready? Here it goes. Oh, God damn it, dude. I have this pillow. I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm trying not to have so much back pain. Okay. Keith Ferbert. Now, Keith wanted his packs sealed. Oh, and I remember now. So he gets these first four. One, two, three, four. Uh-huh, see? And then he gets number 19 as well. So that's the deal we worked out. So that's for Keith Ferber. And he has a bag. Let's go find it. Mr. Keith. Is number four his or is number four mine? I think it's his. <laughs> I hope it's his. I'm giving a pack out. After saying Mr. Hero Arita signature means nothing, Gary produced his own card that he sold and urged everyone to get signed by him at Collecticon. Oh, why would he say that? Mr. Hiri Arita's signature is amazing. Why would anyone say that about... He's like the original artist for Pokemon cards, so of course his, his, his signature is worth way more than pretty much anyone else's signatures when it comes to Pokemon cards. But, of course, there's the other guys who also worked on the Pokemon cards, so their signature is really good, too. All right, Keith, there's no more room in the K-Box. You're just going to have to go in the overflow for now. Keith in the overflow. Actually, we got a spot right here for you, Keith. 
Okay, cool. So that means I'm next, TCC on spot number five. Did he really say that? Maybe he's spending too much time with Logan Paul. <laughs> so I got Curlia, she's on her knees, and go lurk. Oh man. Now I think this Curly is too off center. That's gonna go into the junk pile. And uh, I like this Go Lurk though. He's really clean. Good sign for you guys. Hopefully more clean cards like this. Will I grade him? Yeah, why not? Why not? You know, he's not the hottest pull. I'll consider grading him. Where's my uh, grading sleeves though? Oh, God damn it. I never keep them around. All right, I'll place it here for now. He shills MetaZoo. Well, does he show MetaZoo? Like, is he being paid by MetaZoo? I guess is my question. Somebody would have to prove that he's getting paid. So this is for Donovan Peacock. Donovan, you got to go early because I gave one of my spots to you. Let's see if I should regret it. If you get a hot pull, I want you to remember me, okay? Remember me! And you pull. It's not hot. But you do get ball toy. So you get ball toy. Look at this ball toy. A lot of ball toys, though. You also get Lissandre. Lissandre Reverse. His friend owns the company that makes MetaZoo. Really? Are you sure that they're actually, like, friends that go back? Or is it, like, they're friends now that he's, uh... Yeah, very interesting. Well, he should disclose that. You know what I mean? He should disclose if he's... If he's basically advertising MetaZoo, he should disclose that he's he's a old friend of the guy who's making it. So, Donovan Peacock, Ralph Dutcher, Mr. Ralph. Are you ready, Ralph? Ralph is so excited, he's about to pee his pants. I heard people accuse him of shilling MetaZoo before, but this is the first time somebody is... Yes, they're even doing a MetaZoo live stream with the owner and his son. Hmm. But couldn't it be just be the case that the MetaZoo owner and his son want to be friends with them because he's been, you know, showing off their stuff? Like, what I'm trying to figure out was, was it an arrangement? Did they know each other before he started doing MetaZoo? Or is this more like, of course they're friends. He's showing off MetaZoo. You know what I mean? Like, that's our, you know, if that's our main product. You're a friend of ours. You know what I mean? Like, Capcom started sending me gifts because I did so much Monster Hunter. But we weren't, like, friends beforehand. I just liked Monster Hunter. So I guess the order of things occurring is kind of important in order to claim that he's shilling. Ralph Dodger. Trenton Burton is next. Mr. Trenton. I imagine Metazoo wanted the connection with big Pokemon names. Hmm. No, mister, they've been friends for a long time, says CurseBot. Ah. Well, that's pretty sticky, then. He should, he should definitely disclose that. Vaporeon, the reason why that's frustrating is because he has said before that he doesn't get paid anything to uh, talk about MetaZoo. But, you know, if you're friends with the guy who makes MetaZoo, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not like this just corporation you're totally disconnected from and you happen to like MetaZoo. You're, you're trying to help your friend get wealthy. So this is for Trenton Burton. I didn't know that. Hmm. I need a relationship advice. She really slapped my booty cheeks and she wasn't kidding and she is happy now. Relationship advice. Um. Tell me your issues and I'll give you the best relationship advice. Trenton Burton. He pushes Steve Oiki's NFTs very hard. Oh, yeah, the NFTs, huh? Yeah, I've listened to some of his videos. I like Gary uh, because of everything he's done for the hobby. And I've, I've actually heard him do that. Um, doesn't he say it's like for a good, a good cause, though, or something like that? Doesn't all the money go to a good cause? Or do you think they're, you think they're quietly making bank? Next up, we got Ivanski, spot 9 and 10. Mr. Ivanski. Good luck, Ivanski. Ivanski. He got some My Little Ponies for his daughter. People are soft, soft now. Is MetaZoo a new Pokemon game? Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's another card game. Trust me, I have people I work with that have one if you want it. What? Games and chill, are you deaf? He's financially gaining from using his influence to push, pursue his fans. Here's Baltoy. And we've got Relicanth. 
and Volcarona. All right, we got some ancient trait cards, three of them in one pack. You also pull another. Oh, this was a hot pack. You've got Holographic Entei and Holographic Golurk Ancient Traits. All right, sweet. <clears throat> Very nice. So that was for Ivanski, and it had so many ancient trait cards in it. No full arts. That makes me think Keith Ferbert ought to open his packs. Keith, you might have some full arts, Keith. Maybe I'll work with Keith and mess around with them with them. All right. Ivanski. He got a new bag, and he would have gone right over here. Woohoo! I need this Entei. By the way, if you guys get an interesting pull from this box and you don't want it, contact me. I'll make you a trade. I don't have all the XY collection. Next up, we got Devin Kawamura on spot number 11. So no full arts and no GXs have been pulled so far. Let's see what we got. Devin Kawamura. Beldum. All right. Beldum and Metagross for Devin Kawamura. You missed a ball toy for Trenton. How far back was Trenton? All right, I'll, I'll double check. Who said that, by the way? Jeremy? All right. So let me get this into Devin Kawamura's bag. It's possible to do that. But I don't want to because I think they're kind of cool. Don't you agree? Let's see. If we could just find Devin. Aha! Here we are. He got a new bag. Didn't Gary overprice his collection, says Hazy. Everyone overprices their collection at some point. <laughs> All right, so it's not there. Oh, I thought I missed it there. Okay. What are you talking about? I did not miss a ball toy. All right, there we go. Why do you say ball toy? Because he's an ancient trait. He looks cool. Now we got James O'Brien. Gary just striving to be as bad as Gary from the video game. Oh. <laughs> James O'Brien. We got Quagsire. All right, reverse hollow quack. James, I feel like you pulled that last time. Did you pull that last time? I swear to God, did you pull Quagsire twice? All right, here we go. I think he did. I can't remember. I have to know. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I don't think I'll be able to find out because it might be in a different bag. Does Gary still have all those BGS and PSA's arts? He has sold some already. It's in that bag, says James O. Oh, well, I should have looked a little harder. Ah, oh, man, my back's hurting so bad, guys. We're at 173 minutes. I'm going to call no more orders, okay, guys? No more orders. Now we've got Ramiro. Ramiro Andrade. Mr. Ramiro. Ram oh, we got something. All right. Ramiro pulling the Gyarados. Look at that. Ancient trait, hollow Gyarados. Now, this is such a great-looking card. We're going to go ahead and find your bag. Big fan of Gyarados. He's one of those Gen 1 Pokemons that was, like, really cool and powerful. I also like the whole kind of, like, ugly duckling idea they had with Magikarp Gyarados. He's only sold three before the big boom. Gotcha. So, after Amira, we have Rafael Aguilera. What's up, Rafael? Hopefully he's still here. He was here earlier. You have a high chance for some kind of full art. Let's see what happens. Well, <laughs> I say that, but then nothing comes out. We got Reggie Rock. So far, we haven't seen anything come out of the box. This is why I suspect Keith Ferbert must have had a pull in one of his packs. He really ought to open those. I won't make them, but I would like to see what's in them. All right. He'll, he'll definitely be tempted to now that he's seen that 
Uh, nothing else has come out. There we go, Raphael. Jesse Salinas. Gary abandoned Pokemon for MetaZoo. He's not good for the hobby and he needs to go, says Smitty. He's, it's not that big of a deal, is it? I mean, I sell Final Fantasy. I sell... Uh, oh, here we go. We got something in here. So, Miss, uh, we just did Raphael. So, this is Jesse Salinas. Mr. Jesse. That's what I was trying to say. What do we got here? We got Flareon. All right. A good reverse hollow and Giratina EX. That's a great pack, man. Now, keep in mind, if this gear, uh, Giratina grades 10, I don't know if he will, but let's say he does. He's probably like 150 to $200 because all these EXs, they're so old, guys. There's not a lot of them in supply. There's not a lot of perfect, uh, there's not a lot of 10s out there in supply. You know, the XY era, that's way before the Pokemon boom that came out during Hidden Fates during coronavirus. So that's Jesse Salinas. Let's go find Jesse's bag. If we went looking for that Giratina EX, it's possible we don't even find one. But if we did, uh, it probably would cost a whole bunch of money because there's not a lot of competition. Here we go. Metazoo be looking like Pukemon. <laughs> it's the new Pukemon. Now we have Devin Kawamura with spot 17 and 18. All right, Devin. Trust we could weigh the packs, right, mister? Oh, true, we could weigh the packs. Yes, packs are weighable when it comes to Ancient Origins. Uh, I'm trying not to weigh them, though. I don't really care to weigh them. And I don't want to spend, like, three hours weighing the packs, to tell you the truth. Besides that, uh, what if you get one of those Ancient Trait cards? There's no way that's a heavier card because it's just, a, you know, it's just a hollow card. So it should weigh as much as a hollow foil. So you could miss out on the good Ancient Traits. You ready, Devin? Here it goes. Is that a gate over there? Can I keep it? A gate? What are you talking about? Here's Gumi. Reverse hollow Gumi. Yeah, so what I'm saying is this reverse hollow should should weigh as much as a reverse hollow ancient trait card. Here's ball toy. And with right there, reverse hollow ball toy. See, he might have missed that if we tried to weigh the packs. You don't want to miss that. That's a cool freaking card. That might be a PSA 10, a holographic ball toy. Look at it. It's not bad. There we go. And we'll sleeve up this ball toy. So this is the non-hollow ball toy. Not as valuable, but maybe maybe you still grade it and sell it. Who knows? I, I got a feeling there's not a lot of people grading these non-hollow ancient trait cards. And they do look kind of cool. That's how it works, guys. Whenever something's cool, people will consider buying it. Devin Kawamura. Oh. So we already did Keith Ferbert sealed, which means we move on to Big T Exotic. All right, Mr. Big T Exotic. MetaZoo is going to be bigger than most think. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I try to respect all card hobbies. I don't try to uh, talk trash on any card hobbies these days. I was trash talking Digimon pretty hard. Uh, people should just do whatever they want to do. That's how things should work. You know what I mean? If you like it, you should get it. You shouldn't be buying something because you perceive other people as liking it. You should just buy it if you like it. And that's how collectibles should work. I think it's a more natural way for them to work, you know. Oh, Cody Rogers does have two bags. Okay, making a mental note of that. Cody Rogers is in the overflow, and he's got a bag. Kara Nichols is next. Kara Nichols, let's see if you hit gold. Metazoo, Metazoo won't even be in the top ten. Now, see, I actually agree with you, Cursebot. The, the reason why is because their competition is so large. I mean, all the biggest series. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh's uh, Yu got a TV show. Digimon's got a TV show. Final Fantasy has a video game series that's been going on since like the 80s, right? So, Mr. Uh, Miss Kara Nichols, I apologize. Tough pull there. Yeah, so the competition is probably so tough that MetaZoo will never really become huge but it doesn't have to be that's not really how things work you know it doesn't have to be a top 10 the way it really works is it just has to be profitable for the person producing the card that's it next up we got jeremy helmstatter so they could be like number 11 on the list and it won't matter to them as long as they're making it earning a profit sleep 
Jeremy Helmstatter. He's got two packs. I think he's in a great spot. We haven't seen any full arts. Jeremy Helmstatter. You ready? No ball toy. Okay, you got Hollow Jolteon back there. Very nice. Would I grade a Hollow Jolteon from an old XY series? I would. Definitely. And what about this? Larvesta and an Ancient Trait Vespa Queen. I'm sorry. No big hits there, Mr. Jeremy. Yeah, Keith, is, Keith Ferber's definitely got to open his packs. What's he hiding in there? He's hiding the good ones. <laughs> Jeremy. Give me a minute. Right here. Jeremy's got a great large bag. You're ready to ship out, to be honest, Jeremy. I mucked to that diggy thought. Oh, you know who I'm talking about now, huh? Yeah, I was talking about that the other night. I was I was doing research on the most expensive Digimons, and the most expensive one is this, like, Hentai Girl or something, and it makes no sense. Like, it's supposed to be an animal, I guess, right? Like, a, a Digimon's meant to be an animal. Pokemons are not humans. Uh, but this one basically just turns, up, turns into a straight-up human. It's so weird. Mr. Shane Childers. God, I got a pain in my leg, too. What the hell? Blood clot. <laughs> Let's find out. You ready? No ball toy. Special energy and Golurk non-hollow. Nothing too crazy. Mr. Shane. Shaneco.com. Mr. What happened to your finger? Uh, I think I've been swimming too much, and now all the skin's like peeling off. So, kind of weird, huh? I looked that up. So, the hits have been waiting right now for James O'Brien. Mr. James. But, Timmy, Digimon's just like Pokemon. I know. <laughs> Baltoy and Ariados. All right. I'm sorry, James. I like your Baltoy. I'm sorry. James, we got to get you some good luck again. Next up, we got Devin Kawamura. He's got two spots. Are you nervous, Mr. Devin? Go ahead and push these down a little bit. Are you talking about modern Digimon or older Digimon? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you have the Jasmine Magneton? I've, I've seen Jasmine Magneton. Uh, I'm not rushing to buy it, so I don't own one, but I've thought about getting one. Slagoo, so I really like Dark Magneton because that's what I had when I was a kid. I never had a uh, Jasmine's Magneton, and I'm not like a big Jasmine fan. So it's, it's not like I go crazy for the Fossil Magneton either, right? I don't go, oh my gosh, I got to have Fossil Magneton. Just Dark Magneton. Big fan of Dark Magneton. Here's Volcarona. I like Rocket Suicune a lot, though. Cotney and Ball Toy. All right, wow. We've gone really deep in this box. Oops, my laptop's trying to shut down. Stop that. We've gone pretty deep in this box and we haven't seen too much come out. I'm wondering if Keith Ferbert actually has two big hits in his pulls. It's quite possible. Now we have Donovan Peacock. So it's not over yet. We still got a quarter of the box to go through and sometimes you get a box where all the hits are in the final quarter. So let's see if maybe that happened. How much is the most expensive Digimon card? Well, I don't remember. It was like 3K, I think. So, Mr. Donovan Peacock. You got two spots. Here's Golet and just Golet. Okay. Spot number two. You went pretty deep on this box. You've got Reverse Hollow Unknown and Holographic Volcarona. It actually looks pretty nice. So would I grade this Volcarona? If it can grade 10, I definitely would, actually. Just keep that in mind. These are going to get real old, these hollows. And these boxes are going to be up in the thousands of dollars eventually. In no time at all, in my opinion. Especially if we keep freaking opening them. How many of these? We've opened like four or five of these in the last month, by the way. So this is Casey Fjelsted. Casey's going to have a lot of luck right now. Has there only been an, one EX in the whole break? That's right. Just one EX. We got Combi and Metagross. That means all the hot cards are in those last few packs and maybe Keith Ferbert's packs. Mr. Casey, where did I put your stuff? Here you are. 
Boop. I know. I'm, I'm getting nervous. But, you know, you shouldn't assume that the middle pulls are always going to be hot. I open many booster boxes. Sometimes all the hot pulls are in the last pack. Sometimes that's how it goes. So these guys should have a fair shot at pulling full art to all of them. Let's see what happens. Joshua Maldonado. Oh, yeah. Rush, you're coming up, too. So Mr. Joshua... One Echo Arm or Eco Arm. Josh. I'm sorry, Josh. That's a tough, tough pull. Joshua really got a tough pack because there's not much you're going to do with that card. Would I grade Eco Arm? I guess I could if I had nothing better to do. But even that won't be very valuable over time. There'll be somebody who'll collect it to have an absolutely complete com collection. That'll be it. They, they won't want that card for anything other than an absolutely complete collection. And maybe you could sell it for $100 if you're the only one who's got a 10. You know, I'm willing to bet almost nobody is bothered to grade Eco Arm. All right. Sorry, Josh. Next up, we got... Ra oh, we're pulling from the back. Not, not the back, the front. Rafael Aguilera, you're next. Here we go. So, Rafael... Man, really tough packs. I don't know what to say so far. You've got the Hollow Guard of War, Mr. Raphael. So tough. I want to see some hits already, dude. Raphael says I'm a joke. No, you're not. Actually, if you think about it, Raphael, nobody's pulled anything crazy out of this box so far. All right, Russ, tonight could be your night. Is your girlfriend watching? Here it goes. Who knows? All right, we got Ball Toy. I see something back there. I think it's a GX, though. So here's Ball Toy. We always check for Ball Toy. Oh, really good. This is probably the best EX in the box. It's the Lugia EX. So there's a variety of EXs that can come out of here, but the Lugia is the best one. So congratulations on that, Rust. That is a hit. I think that Lugia goes for like 300 if I'm not mistaken. I think it's like a $300 EX card. All right. Congratulations, Russ. There's a few packs left. I have a feeling that Keith Ferbert could potentially have two full arts in his packs. He had to just open all of them. All right. There we go, Mr. Russ. Now, we have Adam Moondorf. Mr. Adam... Adam Moondorf. <laughs> Let's see. So we've got, oh, this is a good pack. You've got Reverse Hollow Gyarados, but you also have this Porygon Z Ancient Trait Hollow. Very nice. We're always looking for those Ancient Trait Hollows. So that's Adam Moondorf. Not bad. It's like a saving grace pull. It's very much like the Cosmic Eclipse Hollow Trainer Arts. Wouldn't you agree? They look just like it almost, except there's no trainer in these, just the Pokemon. All right, there we are. And who's next? After Adam Moondorf, it comes down to Jeff Leon. All right, Jeff. Jeff, you've been having a crazy night. Let's see what happens. Just a Whimsicott. Wow, guys, what a cold box so far. I don't know. I think we ought to vote Keith Ferbert has to open his packs. So this is for Jeff Leon. No luck on your pack. Now, hold on. Maybe Connor Gillespie and Donovan Peacock also pull something crazy. Keith has all the hits. I suspect he does. Okay, so Connor Gillespie on 35... Oh, great, Connor. You pull one of the Gyarados Ancient Traits, and it is hollow. All right, that's a fantastic pull. Where's Connor's bag? I keep forgetting where his bag is. Is he up top with Big T? Cody, Christian. No, you're not. So you must be in the big overflow boxes. Wow, this is a very tough box, I'd say. That, or Keith Ferbert, has like 20 pulls in his two packs. 
Man, I'm like sweating and everything, guys. This chair does not support me at all. It's so terrible. I'm sweating because I'm like supporting my own spine with my muscles and uh, I'm like in pain and everything. Cody Rogers, Christopher Martinez. Where the fuck? <laughs> Where did I put Connor Gillespie? Oh, God, I'm so dumb. Here he is. I keep trying to make a mental note of where his bag is. Normally, Connor Gillespie would be up top. So placing him over on the sidebars made me very confused. All right, and Donovan Peacock, your final pack, Donovan. You could be in good luck here, Donovan, because pretty much nothing's come out of this box at all. And that's it, folks. You saw it right in front of you. That's it. So they got to be in Keith Ferbert's pack. I'm guessing Keith might have a full art, maybe two full arts. He might have two full arts and an EX. Very cold box. If he doesn't, Donovan Peacock. Dude, I'm tempted to just open them. And if he doesn't like that I open them, I'll just refund him. <laughs> I'll be like, here you go. No, I won't do that. That would be disrespectful. I'm just dying to know what's in those packs. Keith, how could you do this to us? So Keith Ferber, where did I put his stuff? Here it is. So Keith has an additional five packs, everyone. I guarantee you there's got to be two hits in there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's an EX and a full art in there at the very least. And uh, the nice thing about the box is actually it seemed to have a lot of holographic ancient trait cards. Open, we have to see the pulls. Well, that'll be up to Keith Ferber. Keith Ferber, he bought packs under the uh, belief that the packs would remain sealed, he requested that they would all remain sealed. Weigh them. Uh, there's no point in weighing them because we don't have a lot. We don't have a big enough group of cards to weigh them against. All right. So, wow. We saw a Lugia EX and a Giratina EX, and that's it out of the whole box. They've got to be in his packs, guys. They've got to be in his packs. There's no way they're not in there. There's either one or two full arts in his packs. So I hope that he allows us to open them uh, very soon. So I hope you guys haven't been making any orders. Keith Ferber is a beta. Open those packs. Maybe he wants to sell them. Maybe. Well, he can sell them to me right now. Raphael says, so uh, you betting? You a betting man, mister? Because I am. Why not? We are both the card and investigation stream. We're putting the hot pull rates to the test. Nine more Sun and Moon base. So this is for Mr. Raphael. Mister, could you price those slabs? I certainly cannot. I'm going to go ahead and open these, and I'm almost done with the live stream for the night, okay? So you should have bought them if you wanted them open, huh? Says so Solid Dante. Yeah. Well, I allowed him to buy them sealed. I don't have any problem with that, uh, and maybe he will keep them sealed. But now that we've seen everything in the box, he really ought to open them. We know that his packs have got to be... They gotta be hot. There's gotta be a full, at least one full art in those packs. I would, I would say there's like a ninety percent chance he's got a full art in one of them. My girl here says her is a smooch for the Lugia. Smooch. Are we about to smooch him? Are we about to toga kiss? In reality, when Russ says his girl, he's talking about his left hand. <laughs> I'm just playing with you, Russ. <laughs> There's a million percent chance that I get cold cards. All right, here we are. Nah, -uh. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Russ. All right, so Raphael is opening an additional nine packs uh, because these Sun and Moon base set packs have been pretty cold and we want to see some hot ones pop out. He pulled 18 packs and out of that came one GX. So we're hoping to pull maybe like two more GXs here. Uh, and maybe if we're lucky, another full art or hyper rare or ultra rare. Here we go. Thank you for all the support, Mr. Raphael. I appreciate it. Let's see what happens. We got Torkoal. Not a good start. Here's Boldor, like from Pokemon. Here's Switch. Oh, and Dugtrio. Oh my God. Here's two cannon. Sharpedo and Diglett. Ah, these are some crappy rounds of Sun and Moon. 
I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just this particular case. Energy retrieval. And... Oh, my God. Right at the end. One more perfectly centered Espeon. I would say that that Espeon is basically looking like a 10 to me. So I would, I would for sure send that in because it's so well centered. Whew. I don't know, Mr. Raphael. That is a lower than average hit rate. It could be the case, by the way, that all the hits are at the uh, bottom of, the, of this case. So that could be what's going on. I hope so. And I hope it's not just some cold packs, you know what I mean? I could show you how much is left if you want, Raphael. Because 1GX and 9 packs, well, in the reality, it's 2GXs and 27 packs. That is an extremely low pull rate. Let me show you what's left, okay? So it came out of this. See, here it is. Sealed box. And uh, here's the blisters right here. And here's what remains on the blisters, okay? I don't know, man. Hmm. Very interesting. That's what we did with the AO. Next up, we got Everett Treminio. Hey, mister, I'd like a gym challenge custom. All right, so... Oh, right, we're just going to have a list going, aren't we? All right, so this is the gym challenge custom. Ever Treminio is in there. Ever. Treminio. There you go, Mr. Ever. Now, remember, with the, with the gym challenge uh, custom box, 18 people will get nothing so that one person can get a gym challenge booster pack. So... Be mindful about your odds and what you're risking, okay? I don't want you guys to go home super unhappy. Um, you know, open booster packs responsibly and all that kind of stuff. All that jazz. You're supposed to have fun. Mr. My grandma said we can open Keith this pack. Oh, thanks, Granny. Let's go get them. <laughs> you know, I bet if we open them and they had really good pulls, Keith wouldn't mind. And if he did, I could just refund him. I could be like, hey, let me refund you. No harm done. Mr. Would you... Be okay if I sent in an order for the remaining blisters. Uh, yeah, that would be fine. Let me give you an idea of how many there are, Raphael. I don't know how deep your pockets go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's a total of seven blisters, which means seven by three, which is 21. There's a total of 21 packs. That's up to you, okay? Big order. All right, we're refreshed. I feel like my back's gonna break, dude. Wow, I went for the whole three hours in this terrible chair. What am I doing to myself? Kara Nichols says, can you pre-grade my bag, including the Reverse Hollow Inke from Ancient Origins? I'm not joking. No problem. You know, I take a look at all of my Reverse Hollows when it comes from an older set too. So you got nothing to be embarrassed about. Uh, when I'm looking at it, I would say the right side of the card is too thin. So that would probably be a nine. Uh, this is just a hollow. Ooh, Clara. So funny. Clara's name is so c close to Kara. And uh, she's a bit fat on the bottom, a bit thinner on the top. Maybe a chance at a 10 with PSA. Okay, just maybe. And uh, oh, let me set these down here. Okay, and we've got... Uh, this looks very nice. The, the Persian. I'm sorry, uh, the Meowth. He's a bit fat on the top. I, don't, I wouldn't grade him anyways. He's too common. You know, to be honest, this looks like this corner's too thin. Yeah, it is, because this side's fat. So that's probably a nine. Same deal. Darn. Now, this one looks a bit closer. It is still slightly off-center. It's thin on the left. Print line right here on the nine tails, probably a nine. And hollows. All right, there you go, Kara. Here's your inke. Ah, oh, man, my back's hurting so bad. You have no idea. I hope this doesn't, like... Yeah, I don't know. I'm worried about a back injury, guys. <laughs> Mister, this 4th of July marks 225 years of independence. Ah, it only took 225 years for the United States to fall. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm a party pooper. Jack Gray says, one team up, one. Shiny face. Where's the team up? Here is... Oh, that's falling down. One team up and one shining face. So no more orders, everyone. I think that Raphael will do a final order. I'm trying to get out of here because my back's going to break here. 
Could I get that PSA 10 Mewtwo with the store credit in a Japanese tag team? You certainly could. Here's a Kyogre. Ooh. Wait. Oh, did you say a Japanese tag team? Oh, okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. And, uh, oh, that's a cold one. All right, that's for Mr. Jack Gray. Oh, Mr. Jack. Jack Gray. Here we are. You got the Kyogre. That looks pretty nice. Back pain is evil. Well, it's, I got like zero back support with this chair. It's crazy. I can't believe my wife was using this. I always told her like, you should just get a nice chair and she never did. Here I am using this chair. I feel like a fool. Oh, oh, I'm gonna knock the camera over. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Mr. Casey. Now, give me a minute. Uh, what is the price? Oh, it is 10 bucks. I didn't know that. Wow, it's been a while. All right, here you go, Mr. Casey. Women 100% enjoy torturing themselves. Nuh-uh. Let's see what we got. Cold. Oof! Mr. Casey, that's a cold pack. But you do pick up a lovely Mewtwo 10. How about that? So, I'll go ahead and refresh now. Ah, oh, trying to lean back as much as I can. Mrs. Back is bothering him because he's carrying all the pokey noobs. Trevor Bauer beat up a girl that asked to be beat up. What? Nuh-uh. Stop trying to trick me, mister. I'm too streetwise. All right, here we are. Mr. Raphael has put in a final order. He says, let's go, Mr. the Goat. Keep up the awesome work. The remaining 21. You got it. Here we are. Raphael says, I sent you 210 instead of 189. There's an extra $21. So open an Ultra Prism. An Ultra Prism. Anything else? Well, if you want, I could actually get more Sun and Moon base. I don't know if you're interested. It's a possibility. Since I know you're on the hunt for Lily. All right, and three more. For science. Da -da 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 -da. Do 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 do. Do, do. Hey, TCC, thank you for my Lugia, sir. My luck, Luke, always since I pray to Pokey Gods. That's true. You get the good luck because you pray to the Pokey Gods. As long as you believe. <laughs> Is a neckbird beard a confirming sign of a scalper? <laughs> well, I guess you... I guess you would invalidate that thought the moment you found a big scalper with no neck beard. So I would say scalpers can come in all shapes and sizes. Hear that, kitty? Trust no one. All right, let's get some more music going. Here we are. Three more packs. Boop. Have a good night, sir. She says good night and thanks for the polls. And should we send the Lugia to CGC or PSA? I would. Yeah, I would send that card into grade. Thoughts on global warming and the fire oceans, mister? Um, It's getting hot in here. Take off all your clothes. Is that a good response? I don't know. Boop. Jonathan Westfall says howdy, mister. What's up, Jonathan Westfall? All right, again, no more orders, anyone. I am wrapping up. I got to get, I got to go sit down on like a normal chair or something to try and undo this because I am in back fiery pain. Imagine sitting in the same, it's like sitting with no back to rest on at all. That's what it feels like because it's such a bad chair. Your, your back just doesn't even touch the back of the chair. 
So it is like sitting on a backless bench for over three hours. I should lay on a yoga ball. Boop. You're not gonna do your roommate's bed. What are best homies for, mister? Sleep. Hey, don't go yet, guys. You guys gotta see Raphael's pulls. You gotta see if he pulls Lily. There's also the exciting conclusion to this case of Sun and Moon base set. Ew. Have Kitty rub your back. All right, we'll have Kitty rub my back. All right, and sleep. Sweet. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're like falling over there. There we go. We'll just set them here. Okay, this is all for Mr. Raphael. Raphael went extremely deep tonight, everyone. I hope you appreciate it. Uh, he did it so that you guys could see what is in this case of Sun and Moon. Now, from the case of Sun and Moon, oh, here we go. Already a GX Solgaleo. We have pulled an Ultra Ball, uh, an Ultra Ball Ultra Rare, which is kind of like pulling a Hyper Rare, right? There we go, Lunala GX. There we go, Raphael. They're in here. They were in the back of the box. We got some hits. Now we got a ways to go, so hopefully a lot more. And the nice thing is they look pretty well centered too, okay? Here's Lima. Big Malasada. So I get Donut. Psyduck. Ah, he's off center. Yeah, I would pay attention to the Psyduck Hollow in this set, because if he can grade 10, I would probably grade him. Could you show the chair you're sitting on? I think I could do that right at the end. Here's Trombeak. Trombeak. Passimian. Snubble. Well, starting to feel a little cold again. Oh, but there we are. Umbreon GX. All right, Raphael. It is, it is just the case that you were mind sweeping in the earlier packs, I think. We just pull a little more. Here's Hypno. Oh, yep, there's Solgaleo GX. Wow, it's a good thing you kept opening. So you got Lunala and Solgaleo. They're kind of a pair if you think about it. And Lorantis. All the hits concentrated in one spot. Litten. Oops. Great ball. Oh, what do we got? Another Espeon. This box is fairly hot, you know, because Espeon and Umbreon are the hot pulls. And you've pulled like three Espeons now. Here's a Decidueye. Oh, mister. This kind of scares me. Here's Diglett. Because it makes me feel like the next time I have a case of one of these, all the hits could be in the front or the back, which isn't a good thing. Sheldon Muck. Okay, so out of the remaining packs, you pull an additional two full arts and then five more GXs, which kind of explains where the cards were. Okay, Mr. Raphael? And now the, the pull rate's looking a lot more normal. I think it's cool you got both the uh, Sogalio and Lanala. You could grade them together. All right. He kind of tripped over. There we go. And your baggie's over here, Mr. Raphael. Thank you so much, Mr. Raphael. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, it was kind of scientific because now I know that it wasn't like a defective case. It really was just a situation where all the hot poles were in the back, which we know that can happen. Sometimes all the hit poles are in the front. For example, Keith Ferbert's packs, which are very much probably loaded right now. Okay, also, he says he wants an Ultra Prism and a Chilling Rain. Let me get those for you. Forgot about that. Sorry, man. Is the chair fixed? No, we're sitting in a very bad chair. And it is killing me, dude. I've been complaining all night like a little baby. Like a bitch. All right, here we are. Is Keith here? You guys find Keith Ferbert for me, okay? I'll give you his email, and then everyone can email him at the same time. All right, here we go. So we've got Inteleon, and from the Ultra Prism, we have... Oh, man, so lucky. Picking up Hyper Rare Celesteela. Although I have to say, it looks pretty off-center. All right, that's a snipe. Congratulations. Woo! Mr. Raphael, one more hit. 
Give me his address. I'll first class myself and arrive tomorrow. Very nice. All right. Whew, that music was a little bit too much. So you still haven't pulled Lily though. Where the frick is Lily? Uh, if you didn't know, I've got more Sun and Moon base, okay? So if you're ever wanting to search after that Lily, maybe you will eventually pull her. I want to thank everyone for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do it. We're getting so close to 20,000. 20,000 is within our, our grasp, and I need your help to reach 20,000. I need you to hit the, the subscribe button to do that, okay, guys? I'll be back on tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow might be an off day for me, okay? just depends on how much fun we're having. If me and my wife decide to stay out late together uh, for 4th of July, there might not be a stream. Now, if... We have our fun, and then she's tired and goes to bed. Then there will be a stream, okay? So that's how it's going to go. So there might not be a stream tomorrow. Here's the chair. Just a really crappy chair. It's like a very cheap office chair. Okay, so I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.